Good evening, good night, good afternoon, and welcome to our <laughs> 95th, I think it's actually 96th podcast, but I, I, I don't, you know, right about now I'm not keeping check. But the name of this podcast, which is the final live podcast for the Wimbledon 2017 edition, is Queen Venus, no, 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 Fabulous no. Federer, Vanquished Venus, and Motherfucking Mogarutsa. Uh, people, <laughs> I, um, and as usual, you have forgotten to it. Crying chillage. I have zero time for chillage because no. chillage didn't do me anything. No. We're not I've going there yet. We're not let's going there. I've already let's dealt start. with chillage in let's 2015. Let's before let's I go any further, <laughs> let me first and foremost welcome. All of the live guests who will be here, let me welcome you all. And then I do apologize in advance if I say some naughty things. You know, I just deal. I'm a grieving man. I am a grieving man. My soul can't deal with two things at the same time. Celebration and grieving at the same time. So don't blame me for anything. But, you know, I'm gonna we have my two. check your black card for that. Oh. I got to <laughs> check my two co-hosts with the mm. most assist, And I am day drinking already. <laughs> um, a nice cocktail with frozen pineapple chunks. Um, we have Andrine from Soli Tennis Travel, who got all the love, and she was living it up at SW19 this past week. Lucky bitch. Um, Janina and I are not impressed. I'm just saying. We're not impressed. Speak for yourself. I'm really impressed. I am extremely I don't care who jealous. you are hanging with. We were not impressed. I don't see Federated any of your photos, so you didn't do anything over there. <laughs> I, I didn't go full. Uh, sto- I didn't go full Stakarazi, so no, sorry. I mean, we sent you over there. We paid for your ticket, and you didn't even try to get into the press room with your Federal fan. You had two opportunities: your Venus credential and your Federal credentials. You failed. Nothing. Listen. I mean, come on. I'm not going to start imitating Nole fam, okay? <laughs> you came back with nothing. I'm telling you. I don't, I don't want to hear anything about it, okay? Actually, we- the reality is my lamination machine broke, so. <laughs> <laughs> Poor excuse. This is on par with Janina telling me she got family obligations. Not here for this. You people are paid, okay? You people. Look, it's within your contract. Not exactly. Thanks, I'm and sorry. Let me not forget, you know, the foreign or foreign correspondent all the way in Ohio. And she's here with us this evening. And I have to happy to tell you that family obligation did not get in her way this morning because Federer did her solid and got it done early. <laughs> so she saw everything. We have Janina. Oh, How are you, girl? Woo-hoo! I am good. I'm good. I'm good. Yes. And of course, the homosexual of the podcast, who is a sad clown today. Um, reels, um, <laughs> reels, reels. Why are you so sad? Tell me, tell me, girl. Yesterday, <laughs> I couldn't talk about this one time because after this, I am I, I took a pensive and I pulled out these Saturday thoughts. And Saturday is a complete oblivion, it's in a bottle oh. somewhere. No, <laughs> did you do a poem? <laughs> No. Did you do no. a Harry Potter poem? No. Actually, I'm actually working on a little piece I had written ages ago about Venus. I'm re-editing it, so it will come out soon. You know, I'm dealing with my emotions, you know, the best way I know how, but I'm telling you, <sighs> fucking Mugaruta is on my shit list for <laughs> fucking life. I mean, there's no getting off. She could save she could save my mama from a heart attack. I'm gonna be like, thank you, but bitch, get the fuck away from us. Just go away. <laughs> You so tell me what on SW19. <laughs> Not about that so What did you think? What did you think of the final? Like, were you guys up? <laughs> Prep me, because you know, of course, I was there physically. I'm just yeah, whatever. But no, um, okay. I'm surprised you're still alive. I am surprised you're still alive. <laughs> Actually, I'm surprised Mother Ruth is still alive because I expect you to go full on Nancy Carrigan people and run on them. Just <laughs> you know, I don't know. Throw a uh, cup of water in her face, some strawberries, some cream, something. Run around naked, give Venus a little time out, something. God. I have to say, I have to say that um, 
So, of course, if you've been following me on Twitter, you know that my date for Wimbledon week two has been Susie. Um, and she has been a wonderful, wonderful tennis buddy. Um, so Susie, <laughs> at one point in time, Susie says to me, <laughs> she leans up, she's like, are you okay? <laughs> because I, <laughs> I was, I was silent. I was Stop frozen. In <laughs> I was silent. I was like, is Venus about to fucking eat a bagel? <laughs> Girl, we all are. Look, look, do you know, for those who've read Harry Potter, there is a scene Ooh. in the sixth book when Ooh. Voldemort is absolutely certain that Harry is hunting the Horcruxes and he's destroying them. <laughs> and he gets off the boat and there's a scene where J.K. Rowling says, with murder in his heart, and I swear to God, I felt that on Saturday. There was cold <laughs> fury. I'm telling you, I stayed in my apartment. It was dark. I couldn't talk to anyone. Listen. Or anything? No. I had I had no. to work. I had to work. Mm -hmm. I had to be there at seven thirty a.m. The final started nine a.m. our time. Yeah. And I got to work. Saturdays are very quiet. And I go and turn on the TV, and I'm looking for the television channel. And somebody thought it would be a good idea to downgrade the fucking cable package in the office and move to ESPN. <laughs> You want to talk about a mental fucking breakdown right there? I'm glad no one was around to see it. But I did throw a little bit of a temper tantrum. And it has been mentioned. It has been mentioned. So, <laughs> Don't I, watch finals at work, Janita. <laughs> I stream that shit from my phone. Patience and all. Sitting right here. <laughs> I ain't missing it. I'm not missing it. My co-worker, I got her involved. She said, I don't know anything about tennis, but you seem real excited over there. Let me come watch, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and we're sitting there together. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh. I'm no. telling you. Oh, my God. You know what? Let me be 100 here. Uh, you, you've been 90% already? Is that what Hello. you're trying to tell me? Hello. Hello, Yvette. Hello, Matthew. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I mean... <laughs> There's not a single Gabi in Muguruza fan out here, and that's what I love about our fans. They're real. Okay? <laughs> no one, Gabi don't have any fans but her parents. Can I tell no you one. all? This bitch roll up in Wimbledon as motherfucking Stanley. I got no time for this shit. Oh my God. When Stanley you guys... goes in, Stanley don't fuck with Federer. Stanley don't fuck with Federer. Stanley knows how to fuck with my faith. Yes, I know Stanley beat Federer at that French Open, but Federer wasn't going to win no how. So Stanley just, <laughs> Federer just took a solid and, you know, you know what, Stanley? Let me give you a high five. You know what, girl? Here's the baton. I did what I needed to do. I let you go. Stanley, don't fuck with my fave. Mother Ruta didn't get the script. Bitch, you were supposed to go to Angie, and Angie was supposed to fuck up and roll over to Rybarikova, and then roll up in the finals against Venus, and Venus is going to be like, bitch, ooh, candy from a baby. Gabby, I don't understand it. Supposed it. To be. I had how Kiki working on it in Spanish, and Kiki no, told me she sent you the message, girl. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look. When Venus <laughs> lost those two break points, I was oh. done. I was like, God, you knew I that know was it. the that I was the turning it. point. I felt it. Yes, I fucking felt it. I didn't no. watch another ball. I no, didn't you know watch what? another ball. You know what? I was listen. I mean, obviously, I was not going to leave my seat, but I still was in it. I was like, okay, you know what? Miss chances. She's probably going to get another one. And she, she did. She did. <laughs> she did. She, just she did. Take any of them. Oh my god! It was so. Look at I her. called reels on my drive oh, home from work. So brutal. And he he answered the phone like this. <laughs> you can talk to me about anything you want to, but don't bring up that match. I'm not ready to talk about it yet. Don't even talk to me about it. I don't want to talk about tennis. It's true. You oh, didn't even say hi. It was you like, didn't say hi. Hello, nothing. It's like, the, it's like the universe just fuck with. I mean, Venus' forehand was working all throughout the fucking match. I know. For set until that one forehand fucking in the net. And Eva has oh, the racky girl. Eva so has the racky more bitch girl. Don't even play with me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even play with me. I have watched you officiate so many fucking matches, and this was the one time you decided to fuck everything up. You know, from ass from elbow. Look, you know what? Though? It either I you're on the toe or you're not on the toe. Wait, if you're going to shop at ITF events, you need to stay home. You can't do finals. If you're only officiating ITF events, you can't do finals. 
I'm sorry. Wait, that was shocking. That was shocking, actually, because isn't Eva the one whose eyes was like steely at that Novak Djokovic 2015? Yes. She was catching. She was catching balls like that. And then here, I was like, wait, did Eva like oversleep? Did she not get all her Wheaties that morning? If you ask me, let me hear something. Let me tell you a little secret I felt during that Wimbledon, that U.S. Open final. Call it a real crazy theory, right? (laughs) But let me just put it out here. I was the first one who who clocked um, Stanley and Donna fucking. Just saying. (laughs) Just saying. Okay, fine. At U.S. Open finals, I thought there was some kind of inside job day. Eva was Why? overruling Carl. But listen Stop to me. Stop it. Listen to me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying there was a whole lot of press oh and God. pressure being made about that finals. That the fact oh, that there was a lot of pressure because it. she was the first woman to do a man's final. She knew she no, had to get that. it right. At a US Open, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. But I'm yeah. sure it's been done before, wasn't it? Well, it was a it's big been done deal. Before it was a big deal that she was. They made too much of a big deal about it, and she was supposed to be on the money every fucking time. She was. Eva though, did not was. get a single she didn't call fuck wrong. I mean, no. even calls that were nearly almost impossible to catch. Impossible. No, <laughs> this bitch, Miss Abala, was inside the baseline. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> get the fuck out of here, Eva. No. What? Why was she doing it? Why was she doing it, really? Eva, you need to watch challengers, okay? You need to clock challengers because you ain't ready for the big time. No. Not when Queen Venus is up there. Well, listen. What was it? Was it to disrupt poor Venus's she rhythm every, in your I mind? Overrule a call. I didn't even think she overruled any call. No, I don't think so. That was what was surprising? Crazy. I was like, girl, mm-mm. Mm-mm, we, you ain't ready for this. Okay, so tell Trust me, guys. Like honestly, what happened in the, what happened in the second set? Like I this is my theory. No, it wasn't suspected. even the second set. Oh no, you set. tell me. Tell it me, wasn't tell the me. second set. It was the first set. Thank when God. Venus had break points that she didn't convert, she was deflated. And the next service game. Your next service was game was it. always a struggle. And I it. knew as soon as she locked those two sets points never when she was up 5-4, I knew it was going to be a mess. I was like, maybe she can pull out. I was like, Venus, at least try to get a tie break. But she didn't. And the set was I know. Gone. I was I was hoping she would get it to a tiebreaker. But you I know, was like, pro- well, just hold you know, your serve. What? But for me, the other thing too is just like you know. I don't know. I think this was more a mental thing. I do. And I don't know if it's a mental thing. I probably I, I Shogun probably just no. The mental thing just added. Uh, wait, I'm just saying, just added much more weight that it really needed to, in terms of her own physical abilities, because. You know, sometimes the disease this disease just show up in odd times and it just like drags you. But I felt that she wanted this so badly and the weight of figure, feeling that she didn't have any chance. That she felt like everything was a lot bigger than it really needed to be. So every break point well, that she made how, was a big problem. How, and she just felt, wait, wait, wait. No, and she just felt that like having lost the first set, it was just too much of a trouble to get back and it was going to be too much of a long journey. Because I mean, what else can it, Venus didn't even pull out a game. I would have been satisfied with a breadstick in the second set. This is what I'm saying. See, this is... Okay, because the one thing we always say, as Venus fans, we pay attention to this, and we say, how tired is Venus by the time she gets to this final? I mean, I have to believe that Venus had... She went through this more efficiently than she's ever gone through and gotten to a final. She dropped a a set only, what, the first round? Second round. round. With, yeah, the one with the Chinese. Yeah, yeah, though, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah Kwana, that's else. it. Yeah, that's it. She, I, I don't believe that Venus was tired. I don't. I mean, I do. I don't I think th- she I, was tired either. I don't think. She, I think mentally, I think she was shocked. She, she got her. Like, how do you have a first set like that, which was wonderfully played? Played. I mean, I didn't like yes, the outcome was. of the first set, but it was wonderfully played. So you play that first set. How are you gonna punk out in the second? That's a first set that says, I'm in this. This person's playing great. She's getting to be really good. And I'm still hanging with this 20-something-year-old. Okay, I got my chances. Didn't work out. Close, them, close my brain. Let's go in for the second. That's for me, was really crazy. It was the fact that she didn't How even... How do you do that? Y'all want to call a spade a spade? She what? She fucking choked. Oh, my oh, God. She you is choking. <laughs> oh. It's did true. it janina she, she, she did not ahead. i don't care what you... she did not get that break point in the first set that she should have had that would have allowed yeah, her two. to she serve but she was up like 
30 love 40 50 no it was 15 she she fucked up she choked in that moment in her head never came it never that's what it I, really I, I mean look i'm because, not saying but that you know what but to... you know what though even that forehand in the net and then garbine took that game but with solid playing solid because i said to i turned to susie i said you know what the only thing she has to regret was that forehand in the net everything right. else garbine everything took Garbine those. played. she garbine took it played. she played yeah. she played but but that can't, you can't like let it all go down to one no, moment exactly. One moment was enough for her to like completely you watch her. And, like, and I just knew, and I just knew she was going to. I know. She was missing. You know what? After that, after that match, after that point, as soon as she got broken, um, I was done. Actually, no. As soon as she missed those break points, after you, six five game. You're such a fair one. Uh, no, I know. You know no, what happened? No, yeah, you know what happened? Don't you listen? He's listen, not. He's listen. not fair weather. No, no, look, look. How you gonna be that? Look, I watched Venus lose to Kim Kleisters. I twice. <laughs> I watched Venus lose to fucking Kankle Sarah Rani. Don't you dare tell me that I'm a fake weather fan. Okay? Look, I was not going to put my, my doctor told me Meldonium is no longer available in America. And I should have fucked it up. And I can't be fucking with my No. You think, oh my you think God, I could I live it. and watch Venus get bageled in a Wimbledon finals and live to talk about it? Get the fuck out of here. Listen, Nigel <laughs> Nigel is with us today. He was sitting yeah. on what the sideline. Tell like, me, Rose. tell me, Nigel. What did you see up close, personal in Venus's face? Because I just felt like she was like, fuck, I'm done. She checked out she checked out i mean you know what i assume she checked out because it has to be a check out because because she was serving big the whole tournament and how serving you, well and serving well so how do you but you know what okay let me tell you what i felt per, while not joe writes what i felt in that moment stop eating reels what i felt in that away. moment <laughs> what i felt in that moment you remember in 2013 when in 2013 when federa would like falter like you know maybe he save maybe he um missed he, break points and then you just knew he was talk about <laughs> and you yeah and he was like you knew he was just gonna go down and down the dumps it, and you're like what the hell's going on and you feel like he was confused like there was like too many things going on in his brain i literally looked at, down at my paper and i was like Venus is absent from the building. Like her brain. I emotionally ate yesterday morning, Glory. She, <laughs> <laughs> she uh -oh. just was like, she was gone. Like she, was, I've never seen Venus abandon a match like that mentally. Like I was like, wow. Uh, like, David, wait. Venus, the, Venus was comfortable. Venus opened that match with a fucking ace. She was comfortable. She was there. She was on fire. She deflated. I mean, I mean, it's not. Deflated. I mean, I'm not gonna blame Showgreens and whatever. She's 37 no, years old. No, I'm not blaming you know Showgreens. And she, no. But mm -hmm. it, it was a mental checkout. It's definitely, in my opinion, it was. And I was not there to watch any of that. I'm not. I wasn't able to watch that. Venus just fucked up. And yeah. you know what? I understand it because you know what? This is a big moment for someone 37 being through so many things. You know, and I felt perhaps you know that this would have been the moment because you know what? There's no Serena across the net. There should have been yeah. no um, emotions across the net to deal with. It was just cold, rootless, Bellatrix Lestrange, fucking I'm killing you, bitch. But I think, I don't know, like somehow she got lost in that two break point. And then somehow she just felt, you know what? I don't I'm know, just happy though. to be here. But you know what? She shouldn't be because exactly. you know what? She shouldn't no. have been. She shouldn't have been. Because but I Venus was sitting played, Listen, listen, Venus. Venus they just went it. down after that. Because she had a game point yeah. to go up 6-5. She had a game point. Oh. oh, so depressing. And she wasn't even, and the second serve wasn't even all that messy. Mm -hmm. But then what I noticed is just at that, after that point, her play just went down, and Gabin just found that forehand that was missing like a country mile beforehand. In the beginning, yeah. And it was yeah. in the beginning, and the Venus just never was just out there just and, going to the motion. And I'm not no. taking anything away from Gabin, because I think in the first set, it was wonderful tennis from both of them. But in the second set, I would have liked for Venus to have put up a little bit of resistance. At I least mean, get a two piece. Man. God damn it, a breadstick. I would have been happy with a breadstick. <laughs> oh, oh, Venus. Oh, Venus. Oh, Venus. Venus was playing oh. so bad. She was what? playing so bad in that second set that I thought, 
at some moment there's got to be a turnaround. Like there just has to be. I mean, Muguruza never took her foot off the gas. Good for good for you. That's what you're supposed to do, right? But Venus was playing such shit tennis compared to what we had seen for the past two weeks. I thought she's gonna she's gonna get a couple games. She may not win with Garbine mm -hmm. playing at this level, but she's gonna start fighting any second now. It's gonna happen. <laughs> like, like one or two any points, day. and you thought I couldn't okay, do that to myself. Go. I'm sorry. And then boom, it just didn't happen. She fucking choked, man. She checked out. Oh, God, I don't like no, to Venus. think this at all. Oh, well. Uh, oh. Let's be real. She's, She's 37 years old. She knows that her opportunities are less and less and less. And this was a fucking... She didn't talk like yeah. that after. She didn't talk well, that after. She never that would. What we all she did. never would. She, you know what? We might find out next week that she had a broken hip. She never would have said. I mean, because that's, <laughs> that's how she rolls. So I didn't expect her <laughs> to say that. Of course she's going to say... But you know what? I'm you know what? Have I have to say, as much as I hate Magorudza... And I will forever hate her. There's no change in that. <laughs> you know what, girl? This was the result that should have been, right? The young girl sure. was supposed to be the grandma, the older lady. You know what I mean? Sure. It wasn't yeah, supposed sure. to be Venus. Yeah. But you know what? WTA, whatever. And you know what, WTA, you lost this weekend. Because you know why? You have fucking doubles. After that spectacular men's doubles, Nicolescu didn't win a fucking game. Done. So... As I said, WTA on the women's side on Saturday just didn't happen. There was no Saturday event after this event. <laughs> we're down over here. No, but you know what? I'm not gonna Don't take that. It. I'm not. I'm not that. I'm not gonna take that from our poorly dressed Garbine. You know what? Um, good on her. I mean, she saw somebody who left the building, and she who left the building not... before she did because you know she was usually yeah. doing that, right? I know, and, and she, she, was, she didn't like, take you know her what? foot off the brake. I'm she didn't take her around. foot off the brake. She didn't take her foot off the brake. She was like, I'm getting, I'm taking this bagel. I'm doing it. And you know what? That kind of fearlessness when you see somebody else is faltering, go for it. You know, if you wanted it that badly, hunger, all of it, go for it. My only problem Good was that it her. was supposed to be Gabine who was checking out and not Venus. <laughs> because you know well, what? I, I'm going to tell you, be tell you, be truthful. You know, when Venus had bagel just seen Anna then in the 2001 finals, I didn't give two shit. I was <laughs> like, fucking yeah. None of taking that second set. Rain came and fucked up your mojo. Bagel <laughs> that bitch. Red stick in the first set and bagel in the third set. I don't but know. You know what? Tony's asking, was Venus really the favorite heading into that match? I don't know. I mean, as far as you're asking so. about I odds think... and stuff, I really don't know. But she does I have to head I think against Muguruza. I think we really, really wanted Venus to win. And it wasn't I about the favorite. Was sentimental. Time. Wasn't the Wait, I think she was a sentimental yeah. favorite. But I think on paper, yeah. on paper, you probably would have given the slight edge to Muguruza because of the way she had been playing and um, who she had beaten up to that point. I think, I think you probably would have given the edge to her, especially because of the way she handled Radarkova. I was like, oh, okay, you know. So. Um, Right, Barakova, you know what? You couldn't wanted. even do anything. You couldn't even tie a guy with a lope. <laughs> drag her to a break or something. Oh, I nah. mean, I don't want to help Venus. Venus, give y'all fucking equal pay a fucking SW19. <laughs> and he's all okay, you bitch pay, huh? Oh, my God. Real are so bad. It's so funny. I'm bitter. <laughs> I'm bitter. And I'm irrational. <laughs> I'm irrational. It's fucking it's Venus. <laughs> this is Venus. Okay, so what is it? What I mean, the, nothing Federer could have done today okay. would have eclipsed Venus. I'm just telling you. Okay, we get it. Had I Venus get it. To lifted that trophy, didn't. Listen, I had a feeling. Oh. I had a feeling, and I was like, we can't have both. So once Venus went down, I thought it was a better shot for Federer. <laughs> but clearly, <laughs> that sounds like, I thought the universe was going to tilt in that direction. <laughs> so listen, let's. It what else horrible. did you see on the women's let's side? Go, yeah, yeah, let's go back a little bit. You know what? Wait, wait, go. wait, 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 wait. First, let's get any reaction from people on 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 the the live feed. Did anybody say anything? No one that? said reels. No one on the feed so far said reels was crazy. So you know what? <laughs> reels is right. <laughs> no one. You Master just said stop eating. eating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Listen, I don't want to tell y'all what I ate yesterday. I don't want to tell you people. I ate five bags of cheese puffs. Five fucking bags of cheese puffs. 
Man, you suck. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> telling me some shit about why am I waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning to go to the gym? So that when days like this roll around, I don't tell the joke. <laughs> I got fucking mad. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to the oh, gym man. and competing with some Roy Rage juiced up protein <laughs> shit, motherfuckers. A real try to be all natural, okay? <laughs> natural. I'm telling you, five fucking bags of cheese puff, Cadbury chocolate, crack <laughs> juice, barely drank water, a glass oh of wine. God. Oh my god, Lena, uh, hot fucking. <laughs> Venus, oh Jesus. I'm only so thankful that I went to the gym at seven o'clock in the morning yesterday. Oh, but you know what? I couldn't concentrate because I was so fucking nervous. I was like, the universe might fuck me over. I was too happy. <laughs> I was getting everything I want. Venus and Raja in the finals. I should be happy with that, right? I should just be satisfied with that, right? But I was greedy. I my my tennis year was over. Once Federer and Serene and Venus was in the finals at the Australian Open, I was like, it's done. I don't want to hear anything else. They're in the finals. <laughs> so like, it's over. It's over. But then I got greedy. <sighs> then Federer won Miami. He won uh, Indian Wells, whatever. And I got greedy. And Venus was playing well. And Venus decided to go to um, Australia. I was like, this bitch is confident, right? Because who <laughs> fucking go Melbourne is fucking Jude? You should be in England. Ooh, and then that crazy kind of accident should happen. And you know what? Look, I'm not going to drag these old white people. I'm not going to drag them. But you know what, lady? <laughs> I'm blaming you too a little bit. Just a little bit. You fucked up, Venus. Was thinking about all that shit. When Gabin ran into her, collided, T-boned her ass in that for a set. Venus was done. She was sped. I'm calling, <laughs> I'm calling this one, you know, flashback. You know what they call her? PTS, okay? He just had PTSD in that oh fire. Not hearing anything else. Not hearing anything else. Andrina, but you know what? The courts look as bad in person as they did on TV. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I swear some other plant some shit. I oh, say that, no. That is, that, that. <laughs> no, I mean, I think part of the you know what's so funny? After the women's match is over, like, oh, this is great. Susie and I are watching the doubles match. And all I can think about is Every single t- every single hour that clock by, I was like, "This poor grass." I was, like, I was in a rage. I was like, "Exactly!" I was like, "How dare they? How dare they put this men's doubles match? Why did they put this shit out in court one? Look, Save it for yeah. the." You see, I know oh y'all were crazy. God. Then I checked Twitter That's and some people I were talking about some shit like these people should be on court one. I was like, "Fuck no, we be on court one. Why should I be trying to split tickets?" People pay for a good hour match. After watching that shit show this morning, they deserve to see some shit. Oh, no. It was okay. No. So, all right. Oh, brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. I'm sorry, Venus. Is Kerber back? Happened. Is Kerber back? But you know what? Uh, no. But, but let's no. go back. Let's, let's go back. Let's go back. Because you know what? Saturday didn't happen. It didn't happen. Okay, let me just so say. Let's, okay, let's Venus look at the draw. fabulous match against Kanta. Um, yeah. You know, I think Kanta has a one dimen- two-dimensional game. Because one dimension doesn't exist. Um, <laughs> she, I have to say that, and and I think that you know that if she, there is too much method, uh, there is too much. Uh, what's what I want to use? It's kind of robotic, but it's not that it's robotic that really bothers me. I think mm-hmm. it's very much like she's very much too precise and too clocked in a certain thing. There is no flexibility in her game. Yeah. So therefore, she's yeah. always gonna find problems, particularly when she runs into a grass called Prares, which we know was mm-hmm. on Thursday. She's gonna run mm-hmm. into problems. I'm surprised she didn't <laughs> get clocked earlier. And who, who, was gonna, a, who was gonna clock her though? I mean, well, you know uh, what though? I I, I think Conta was gritting. I, I think she was gritting her way through it. I think she was. It was pure grit that got Conta to that, to the semis. Don't you think? I didn't really. Donna, watch her. Donna nearly handled her. Exactly. Uh, so I think it was grit. She was just getting through those matches. She was a little bit like Andy Murray in that way, because you know Andy Murray should not have been there, but they grit no, got them through that. You know my theory grit about and desire, she, which these which these British players just keep showing them. I mean, like, oh my God, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm not. Stop it! Out. No, no, no. And all no, of a sudden, no, no. in the semifinals and quarterfinals, uh, no, we're not here about that shit. Nope. No. No. So I mean, Conta, you know, yeah, but you know what? That's the other thing I was surprised by. In contrast to how Venus played Kanta, 
I mean, obviously more power is coming from Muguruza's side, right? Obviously. But she didn't mix it up very much at all. Like, where That's was Venus's I mean, net play? Like, what was yeah, going was on? No, where was some all-court tennis that she... Yeah, Kanta is love? very... She's very stiff. There was no flexibility in the game. She's just doing the same thing. You no, just but feel I'm like talking about Venus. I'm talking about... You, oh, know against... how <laughs> you know how creative Venus was against Kanta? She didn't bring that against Muggs. And obviously, they're different opponents, but I would have thought she would have done a little bit more Something. about coming a little bit more... She didn't change it up. She didn't come in nearly as much as she would have liked, though. She did, wasn't getting the opportunity what I, to come in. I thought so. I don't know. It just it just felt like there could have been more done on her, um, you know. Oh, even in the second set going right for me, I can't be banging it out on the baseline with this lady because, you know what, looks like she's got her forehand all right. Um, I wish Richard was there. And Richard had left the court, and then Richard then she would have been like, I need to get my shit together. But you know what? <laughs> just David went there just clapping. Like I said, oh, 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 oh. oh my god! Oh my god! And there was nothing. Why is there talk of a porn star in the feed? What's going on? <laughs> There's a porn star in uh, Joanna Conta's box. I like, think oh my god! Somebody used that, to be a you guys are somebody. you guys are still up on that? Okay. I have so no idea the Conta. Oh, oh yeah, and then the Ostapenko. I like the way that Venus handled Ostapenko. That was really fun to see. I like the way Venus handled all the youngins. Yes, Andra, I like Ostapenko. Ostapenko. I like Wimbledon 2017 <laughs> until she got to the semifinals. No, there she was no walkabout in any. Exactly. Got you know what? Like, the universe was telling me that. You know, Venus. David is you know, not getting usually... fired. Forget that shit. He'll he'll die. Nah, nah, Look, I'm not nah, trying to get David so. fired. I'm not trying to get David fired. Well, I just wanted for David to show something up there. I'm not fucking clapping. You know? That's all he <laughs> oh my God. Why did you expect more? He say something. He doesn't. Like, bitch, okay, so what about... feet. But anyway. okay, what about the Kanta Halep match? What do you guys think about that? I didn't get a chance to see the full match. Did you all do? Well, you know what? Again, I, I am still here wondering, and I'm going to say something. People are going to get mad. I'm still wondering why Darren Gale still have a job. <laughs> that there is something going on between he and Halep that is not just coaching. Or <gasps> not on the Snap. Stop it. I don't remember exactly what it was, but Darren Cahill was on ESPN spilling... T basically, why are you saying this? Like he was talking about how after Halep lost in Australia, that every day oh, yeah. for you know quite some time when he talked to her, she cried. Like why are you telling oh, people this? Why are you saying really? I think they were about yes. to break up. The, the it, partnership had a had it as soon after that, wasn't it? Yeah, they had yeah. a little but break. They up didn't. It doesn't matter. Like this is your girl. This is. You are her coach, and you're on TV talking about how hard she took that loss and how she behaved in such a negative way It wouldn't pick up a racket and cried every day for two weeks. Why are you telling mm. people that? I just mm. thought, wow. You see, for me, I, I don't like these kind of, you know, I mean, some people handle it well. I, I know some people like Patrick Murray-Targlu's, you know, input on whatever the case in me. Albeit so. But you know what? People like Darren Cahill, who have his friends – Trying to give him a back. He ain't doing my Simona game has not improved. It hasn't. <laughs> don't tell her that. It hasn't improved. Well, I don't know about her game, but her mentality okay. is sorely lacking. And, and that, yes. and that's, 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 that's what it is. That's, that's not that's her game. Something that's, actually, you know what? It's not her there game. There was a point in 2015. Game. There was a point in 2015 before when Hal before Halab ran into Flavia Panetta. <laughs> when Halab was serving 125. Zalab was having a big serve. She was popping it off. But I shouldn't know no more. Not anymore. Okay. And, um, and you know what, too? I, if, I, you I turn it into, if you turn it into a grit, if you turn it into a grit fest, I'm not convinced that Halep is going to emerge the victor. That's what suddenly become apparent to me. Is that, remember when Halep wanted to call herself a fighter girl? Mm -hmm. I don't see it. I don't see it anymore. I, I, I never believe different. any of that because you know what? To me, a fighter girl can't come out and you not know it's a fighter girl. I'm supposed to look <laughs> at you and be like, you know what? This bitch is going to cut my ass. She's going <laughs> to fuck me over. And when I see Halop, all I'm going to see, like, I'm going to say, boo. It's like Madison Keys. She looks big and imposing. But you go up to Madison and just be like, bitch, you're going to cry right now, right? You're going to cry. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's what I don't like. 
to yeah. me, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna tell me that, you have to show that to me. You can't show that mm. to me every other match or like five minutes out. No, 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 no. I'm supposed to see you and know you're a ruthless bitch and you're gonna cut a motherfucker any and every day. And Simone ain't ready for that life. She's not ready. Okay. Gabinia came out on Saturday, looked like she was gonna cut a bitch. She and that was very like apparent from the very beginning. She always looks from like the semi fight. It's her ass handed. When she handled Angie, she was nervous throughout. But once she handled Angie, she was like, it's on and popping now. It's on and popping. Oh, but you know what? And you know where she handled? Oh, so I'm watching Sveta versus Muggs. And I was like, okay, it's tight. The first couple games, it looks like it's going to be interesting. And then Muguruza just was dialed in. And Sveta had no answers. And I was like, all right, all right, all right. I'm a little afraid of you. I'm a little afraid of you. Like, Muggs you, was Tony. hitting the ball. She was hitting the ball so well, so deep. And I was like, oh, my God, where has this Muggs been? She says she you doesn't see, know why she's so good in grass. But you know what? Whatever it is, keep doing it. And it must be Conchita. This no, is why we're saying. No. no, I'm just kidding. But I'm just obviously, <laughs> you know, obviously she just, well, you know, listen, she's capable. Right? She's and capable you know what? of it. I she's capable. I remember Conchita winning that Wimbledon. Yeah. I remember watching that Wimbledon final. And I wanted to slap Yana Novotny. I was like, bitch, why are you crying? <laughs> why are you crying out here? Why is this happening? I was so mad. Mm-hmm. I was like, this half over here moon balling and shit on grass. And mm-hmm. you know, Yana, we ain't got time for this shit. And as Tony said, you can't be only you can't be a fighter girl only when you are winning. You're yeah. supposed to this is why I can't respect how up, you know what? Darren is mudding up your head. <laughs> he's fucking with your head, girl. Dump him. And if he's fucking dump you, him. you need to dump him. Dump him. He ain't doing nothing for your game. <laughs> And not of your sex life. I'm just saying. Dan, Darren ah! looked like weak sauce. He looked ah! like weak sauce. Is Stop someone killing me? He's, ba- he's buried. Look, Darren probably could say <laughs> some nice words. I really was I just wondering sure if can. someone just like busted into but wherever Andrina is and, and <laughs> had a pistol to her. Well, you know what? I, I mean, because, I, because I too real, don't know why Mark is working with Sam. Because real but you know what? Sam is. Sam is tech clock is ticking. We've, 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 we've had this on we have this on Reels Jeopardy, right? We've done this question, right? Yep. Who's gonna keep your job still? But you know what? I would respect Sam Sumik as a coach before I respect Darren Cahill. Because well, to me Sam, because Sam has actually taken someone to a championship. With exactly. Like a multiple. I mean, with, and I mean I mean Agassi, saying. I guess. Agassi, but you know. But, I mean, okay. you, you didn't need Darren for that, but I'm just saying. <clears throat> can can we talk about done. the delight? Can we talk about the delight that it was to see Coco handled? Well, how come Coco always looks unbeatable until she's beaten? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Look. <laughs> so, you know what? So, so, you know, so, you know, I'm at work and I watch that match, right? I got my uh-huh. job done. You know, Janina <laughs> was like, are you so bored? And I was like, bitch, who does that? I'm not Loren. <laughs> I'm watching the matches. <laughs> so right Barakova. Right Barakova was just like, you know what, girl? Rule Adobe Queen, you're gonna fuck up today. You've been on a hot hand and your streak is about to end. Right Barakova did nothing over there to block the ba- ball back over. Block the ball. No. And that, no. Try that shit with, with mugs, and that's why mugs breadstick her ass. <laughs> right Barakova was just pushing the ball back. Coco looked like she couldn't move. Coconut was a hot mess. How does that happen, though? Because, I mean, Errors she's not a great mover. Rabbi Carver must have done something different. He's trying to come for the umpire and tell her, it can't be a point to Rabbi Carver. We got to replay the point. <laughs> I was just like, girl, this ain't your problem. You're about to lose this match. Rabbi Carver is serving for it, girl. This ain't the issue, okay? The umpire is not the problem here, girl. It's you. You're a hot mess. You started to believe that magazine cover that you were going to win Wimbledon. Like, if you mm. met Venus again, it was going to be like, no way Venus was going to beat you. But you know what? Mm. For your sake, I really wish you had met Venus because Venus would have handled you. <laughs> but you know what? You didn't handle your business. You didn't handle Ray Barakova and, Ry- and you were supposed to handle Muguruza. But you know what? You fucked up. So again, Coconut... This is why you are on the shit list too. 
Oh, oh my gonna, God. There's no win for you in Reels Vlog. No win. Oh, man. No win. <laughs> Reels Vlog. Anyway, can we get some of these ladies? Because I'm just over this shit, right? Oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry. Man. So, hey, wait, 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 wait. Let me look. Okay. Let's look. Let's just look. Let's just look. Let me see. Did, I, did we get everything? Did we get everything? I had, you know what? I mean, you know what? Hmm? Side on the flip side, we saw some people we can really probably think there's some promise, right? Johanna Conte yeah. could be a major force at majors. You know, what I mean, she she definitely showed that she can play at um on the tour, unlike Magaruta, and handle and, and handle event. pressure and handle pressure. Okay, um, but she does need to mix up her game because that two dimensional shit, girl, it can't work. <laughs> what about Victoria so, Azarenka? Azarenka. Um, Victoria Azarenka looked exactly the way that she's supposed to look. You're right. So I'm excited to see her move forward in a logical way. So my favorite for the U.S. Open, I'm picking it, is Venus, always for us. Oh, Jesus. And okay. then Azarenka. Oh, I'm looking, Azarenka. Forward to, I'm looking forward to an Azarenka summer, I have to say. I because think if, Azarenka, there's anybody, right, if there's exactly. anybody who deserves a sentimental major at the U.S. The Open, it's definitely Azarenka. I'm not no such thing. <laughs> but I'm just saying. You know what? She has met Serena too many times, and she was definitely favorites going in. Just saying. Although, you know, because so, you know because you know, now that we paid attention to Coco on grass, we always want to pay attention to her on hard. And I pretty much know she'll probably disappear. Um, like, hot always. Mess. Nope. Nope. <laughs> people forget. <laughs> this is the thing people gotta get trip up. Look. People, if you've never been to U US Open. It is hot, okay? <laughs> Melbourne probably have a dry heat. But in New York, it is just hot, sticky, muggy. and nasty. It is muggy. Ask Petra. Why do <laughs> you think Petra don't do shit there? Why is somebody you asking about Caroline? What have I told you a million times? Caroline is golden until she comes up against a big hitter. No, I, and then I, I'm she's not entertaining gone. Right about, no. We're not entertaining wait, 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 We're not talking wait, about Caroline. Wait, 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 wait. Who? Oh, Shane. <laughs> She got through. She got through Contavi, who everyone thought should have. Well, Contavi should have won that match. Woo! Talk about. <laughs> you we might have everything. Tennis. We forget for everybody who for everybody who got to this later route. Venus was the only person who wasn't playing struggle tennis. <laughs> I know. You're I right. know. And then the only one. And then she was like, and then and she's like, let she me. Was that done? She had fired. She fired. Done and done. I'm sorry. I'm, Venus, I'm not gonna. Part. You know, Venus is like, I'm not participating in the second set. I'm gonna take a seat. <laughs> oh no, I am pulling a Bernard Tomic. Okay, I'm pulling no. a Bernard Tomic. No. Okay? No. 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 What about Ostapenko? Okay, the more the more I see Ostapenko, the more I enjoy her unruliness. Only that. <laughs> her undisciplined stroke. <laughs> I mean, you see, the thing about it is that the girls are going to rein her back in. The girls are going to rein her in. Who's going to rein her in? At some point. Who? Yeah, you know, because the women at some point in time, you the realize. The only let Serena get ahead. <laughs> they only let Serena. Not All the others. The only. Serena, Serena, don't, Serena don't play with them. Just like, girl, you remember that picture when Serena was in the uh, supermarket looking like a hot mess? Oh, my God. And she's looking at the trash? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I know. That's how Serena to the WT. They can't hold Serena back. Serena no. don't participate. Yeah. Let's be we know this, right? Serena is miles and miles ahead of these women. And when we're in the rest of the pack, I mean, let's be 100 here. That's a 37 year old woman who's playing the second best tennis <laughs> all year long. And she's playing the most consistent. No, tennis, but no, but let's be honest. Okay, but the other thing we have to say, listen, age is nothing but a number. However, these True. were champs. These were champs. We've been saying this all along that you can't expect the same careers from these champs that you're getting from the other players. Venus and Serena are special and unique. You can't just be turned around. And go, she's not the same 37 year old. You know what I mean? I can't. That's fair she's, enough. Fair enough. She's, but I would that, say that, that, let's just let's accept that a little the bit. The women will definitely rain off the pink away. The women don't let another one get ahead. Well, they'll, They're but, They'll understand her game, but you know, I mean, there's, there's a. You know, paid for those two majors she won last year. But you Angie know what? I, nothing what, like anything. Can I say? I I think what I like about Astapenko, and you know, I'm not gonna get on a bandwagon or anything. What I like about Astapenko is the reaction from the crowd, which like they just love her freedom on the court. They love that she goes for everything, and. You get like gas when she goes for herself. 
the crowd is like, whoa. Like, she's the person she bring that's thought getting the reaction. Energy. Yes, like, there's just, like, there, she gets, she brings the energy that I bet the WTA would have loved to have Halep bring. Do you know what <laughs> I mean? Like, she, you know what I mean? That, like, this one, this one's a firecracker. She'll do whatever. And I can just there's imagine nothing that. About, that's what they're like. There's nothing mannered about her or controlled. No, like, no. There was and you know like, what? That will play finals. Yes. In the French Open final, there were so many moments when she was supposed to behave or go away and then let yep. the moment get and to her. Didn't. But she was just like, nope, nope, this is nope, nope, nope. I'm still here. And she's you're young and she's me. only going to get better. That's what Yeah, exactly. I and, mean, you know, and, so and what I, I like, I like her for the U.S. I mean, I like her personality for the U.S. Open crowd. That Ostapenko plus the U.S. Open crowd is just a fun ride that is possible, I yes, think. If that she is... gets night matches. No, or, night or, matches. Or, a, or, or whatever the new Armstrong is, or she gets a good side court match. That's just somebody that you could just be really excited by. Because, that you know, New Yorkers love a firecracker, and she's just that. I just think that'll be real fun. So um, that's just I, I'm looking forward to that. I think that'll be really cool. I'm telling you though, but I, but watch out, people. That heat, that heat <laughs> will hot. kill you. It will kill you. It's hot. Okay. Okay. It's, can I, mean, I just? Can we admit that I thought Petra was gonna do something? But Petra is reacting I like Petra she should. Too. She's unfit. Because the problem is that Petra played. thought she, you see, right? But the thing about it is that Petra thought that she was gonna do something, and that's what I find was most surprising. Well, why shouldn't she? Well, and then everyone she? really believed that. Everyone really believed that she was going to not just us because we are fans mm-hmm. and we can say whatever, right? But the yeah. pundits believed she that she was really going to do something. There's no reason for anybody to think she wasn't going to do something. And she's so comfortable there. And she's so comfortable there. So, she's a but the problem winner. is, I mean, we know we know that he, New York is going to be hot. And yeah, that's what's going to be exactly. But you know, yeah, Petra yeah. lost in the heat today at, at Wimbledon, right? Yeah. It was the heat. Yeah, it was the heat. It was the heat. It was in the hands. He caught her and Flavia Panetta at the US Open in 2015. <laughs> exactly. It was the heat. <laughs> because she was playing night and evening matches only. I know. I was, she was. Oh my God. I was and sitting I there. I was wait, sitting there. And wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Petra played at one o'clock. Nope. Petra's not about this life. Nope. It was, so it was so hot. It was so hot. Even Federer. This is why Jack Sock always fades out because Federer said, Look, I don't understand this. We have been in America for like two months. Yeah, I know how it's hot over here. It's no joke. <laughs> but you okay? know what? It's yeah. different hot than that concrete. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's different hot. Different hot. Because you know what? In Melbourne, if you're on Rod Laver Arena, they can close the roof, they give you some. You get a conditioner. They Maybe. give you heat rule. New York don't know anything about any heat rule. They just like I've what never seen a heat rule there. Actually, they There's should no have more. There's no real heat rule because <laughs> it's muggy. Because it's not it's the heat; it's the humidity. It's like you're Ooh. fighting the ball and the humidity. There's like there's like a whole wall. The humidity becomes a wall at the U.S. Open. So it really no. takes a special. And plus, it's the last major of the season. Your body is yeah. run down. Trust me. Why do yeah. you think this is the only place yeah. that American men be doing well? Because they didn't do shit for the whole <laughs> fucking year. <laughs> so, body is ready. so they can win a couple rounds. Trust me. Oh, that's man. All right. All right. So but anyway, we have, we have, we congrats, have, we have moving... but you know what, bitch? You're on the shit list for life. <laughs> Woo! Right, oh, you man. My grandchildren, great grandchildren, God hate you for uh, life. Oh, that's stop. Girl, just... So we, we're in Vanquish Ven- Venus section. Sorry, Venus. Yes. But congratulations to Muguruza. Um, see if you can grab Federer for that dance, that mythical dance you're trying to she get. She already tweeted uh. to him for it. Girl, please. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Federer, we don't consult with the enemies. We just don't. We just don't. <laughs> you thought of, you thought Venus, and you put Venus shoulder head on your shoulder, and you give her a good dance. You know what? She's going to go, go there with... She don't go there rocking with her pantsuit. Go, Mugs. Make oh, sure you let him leave, though, baby. In jeans and jeans. Oh, good God. That's true. Did someone at least get a stylist? Please. Don't <laughs> let me have to rip this bitch tomorrow morning. Please. Oh, my don't God. Don't let me have to rip it. her into pieces when I see those bitches. Please. Just spare the girl more reels heartache, okay? Just oh. get her proper dress, okay? Something right. slender. 
off the shoulder. No, you know. or she could wear pants, or she could wear pants. She just needs to wear something that's not from the seventies. <laughs> need a hot <laughs> pants, a nice tube top, <laughs> and a pocket book. She looks like she needs to look like she's not about to go to the. Um, I'm gonna fix that part. hair too, okay? I some makeup to cover the acne, okay? Uh, 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 I'm done. I'm done. Oh I'm done. You're so bitter. You are I'm so done. bitter. <laughs> this might I'm have done. been. This might be worse than. I mean, I guess when Venus was losing the Serena, it was better. My God, I haven't experienced you in a Venus final loss since we started our podcast. It's a whole other level, real. I hope we don't ever have to do this again. <laughs> I know Venus, fix this shit. Fix this shit in New York, okay? Man? Fix this shit. Oh, at least we'll be able to come we'll fix be able it. to commiserate together regardless of what happens. Oof. Let's see well, that one. But anyway, All right. moving on. Moving on. I have to Woo. say the man won the tournament for me. Not no! Because Roger won. no, no, no. I'm gonna stop you there. That don't even oh. No. You cannot say that. I love that. Wait. I love that Federer won, but you cannot say the men won the tournament. Wait, 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 wait. How? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. How? How? You witnessed the double bagel on the women's doubles event? <laughs> That's different. I'm talking about okay. the, the qualitatively of the two weeks. Of the two weeks, the women gave some solid matches. You cannot say that. Okay, the, but you know what? I was there for the double bagel. And it was like when Federer beat up Juan Monaco. It was magical. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> it was just classic doubles, right? It was just like, like it was it like was thing that you know up, what? I mean, you know what? It was like it was I I I was like sitting there just stunned, yes, and will. I was like, you know what? Drama, I... Girl. Yes, I will <laughs> snatch somebody's wig if they try to fuck with Venus. I'm going to go out, Richard. Whatever you, a man was called. I don't know what a man was called. Whatever. Yeah. No, but let me tell you, you know what? It was it was a full on master class and I was happy to be there and they needed to get that Perfect. match done and they they delivered it in fifty six minutes and it was brilliant. I'm sorry, like I couldn't even... <laughs> <laughs> it gave me it gave me the Monaco vibes. It really was. It was like, Wow, you're about to get a beat down and I'm happy to watch wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. You're here recalling the beat down of Roger Federer over one Monaco Pico. And and Diva Dow be raping that motherfucker on cold all the time. Yeah, like, no, 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 but no, it's no. not. But it's not pretty. It was. But Diva Dow <laughs> doesn't do it pretty. Veteran did it pretty. <laughs> you oh were gasping God. at those points. Love a spot. That's usually a love us quarrel. We want be like, boo Diva. I'll be getting in the bedroom later. <laughs> all right, you can win on the court, but I'm, anyway. I'm ruling off court. No, but you know what? I mean, it, but you know what? It, I will say though that for people who purchased tickets that day, the 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 long ass doubles match was a win because it, sandwiched between the poor, you know, second set, unfortunately, for the women's final, and then a double bagel, they got their money's worth because they got four hours and forty minutes of a match, <laughs> and, a, and a good chunk of people watched it. You know what I mean? It was, it was solid. I was being social, and then I came in for like the last ninety minutes, <laughs> and there was still going. I actually could say that I came in for the last ninety minutes of that fucking double. <laughs> but then their reaction was so touching that I was like, I, you know, you're sitting there like, can somebody win this shit? I'm done. I'm over it. And then they win. You know, Kuba wins, and you're like, oh my god, they're crying. This is a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> sorry, but yo, for Brazil, for Poland, but the big deal yes. happened before that match when Venus didn't win. Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> you have to, you have to move on. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to go work out those cheese pops you put in your body. <laughs> they've, also, they've also scrambled your brain, poor thing. <laughs> All, right, All right, let's move get, on. Let's get to the messy so, man. Yeah. So. I have to say that you mean like, well, I mean there was a lot of things. I mean like, we were gonna put the, the code assignment should you know sorry. Later. we ain't got time to talk about that. Talk okay, about these that. are market forces, okay? These I'm... are market forces, okay? Nobody can watch Donald Young and Lucas Kobach <laughs> playing at Santa Claus. Just not happening, okay? Let's be one hundred here. And Santa Claus wanted... ain't a thoroughfare. It ain't a free for all. You're not entitled <laughs> to be at it's an inalienable right. You're not entitled to be on Santa Court. I okay. swear you just we said we weren't about talking this. about this. We talked about <laughs> it already. We've already given our opinions so, on that. 
I'm just saying that's not happening. Just to reaffirm the view, you know, whatever. Federer played seven matches and ten the coach, whatever. Deal with it, people. Get to the <laughs> finals and you'll get it. Okay, just saying. Win eight Wimbledon, and you could be as in a gold every fucking day. Oh, okay. <laughs> Moving on. All right. But I, I thought so, the men's um it turned out like how I wanted to. <laughs> who I didn't want to win, didn't win. People post who I wanted to win, win. What can I say? I mean, um, you know what, there were some quality matches. There. I'm surprised that Rarenich made it to the quarterfinals. No. I was surprised. No, but, you know you but then surprised. again, because you know what? I mean, like, I thought that you know that yes, he played when, well last year, and Rainich does have the grass coat game, but you know what? I thought somebody could have handled him before, and I think he almost went out earlier in the round. It should have been. Um, I was surprised. I think he'd be. Yeah, Zareb... I was surprised that Zareb didn't handle him, really. Nah, I really I thought Zareb was going to step up and really take this because I thought, you know what, Zareb felt, you know, I flopped at the French Open and I'm yeah. well rested. This is my Wait, opportunity to prove it because, you know. Uh, what? Uh, didn't we talk about them, the two of them? Already? No, we didn't because that was the round of 60. <laughs> the round of 60 oh, happened on yeah. Monday. I just couldn't remember. Well, oh, okay, I couldn't remember. So I think that, um, I think Zverev got tired. I think he needs more practice in long matches. I mean, he was winning and then he wasn't. I mean, he was up to, you know, he got two sets. So when he gets older and stronger, these and maybe not his daddy matches, as his coach. Oh my god. <laughs> these matches won't be such a challenge because I really think he just got tired. He has the game to beat anybody. We've seen it. Can I tell you who really bombed though? I mean Mueller? Who really no. no. Sorry. He did well. Gregor. Gregor. I mean, listen, I was I wanted to be nervous for the Gregor match versus Federer. <laughs> And I sat there and I was like, this dude can't play. He ain't coming to play today. All right. I can breathe easy. I can breathe easy. Like, what is going on with Grigor? He was not ready, ready for this match at all. You know what? Serve, I thought Grigor like year ended in Melbourne. Oh, the serve. Oh, my. But, but you know what? You know what? I, 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 I want to be one of them. I thought Grigor year ended so in Melbourne. I'm so disappointed. I hear that and I'm so disappointed because. Remember when Stan had that match against um, against Novak? It, he needed to do what Stan did with that, which is to and uses it valuable information to shore up his year so that he can come back and get the win the next year. If Grigor took that close loss to Rafa and let that destroy his whole year, that was a bullshit response. Bullshit response. Well, he should have been like, you know what? I'm so close. I almost got this. Just one or two points separated me. And guess what? Rafa got to the final, and now he got to the Roland Garros final. I'm in with it. I'm, I'm in with a chance. But he showed up in that match, and I was like, yep, that second serve. Still Listen, dodgy. Can we? No, wait a minute. Okay, sure. The second serve is dodgy. However, let's look at this as a whole and realize that Federer just won Wimbledon, and he didn't drop a set. Federer was playing some really good tennis. I did not watch that match and think that Grigor didn't show up. He could up. have been I better, think, though, Janina. But I think he got shut down by Federer's play. I think Federer was just too I good. Don't know, Their man. games are so similar. I mean, but everything I Federer would, no, does they're not just similar. Does Could we not say that? Could we they not say are no, similar. They're not similar. They're, they're not. not. They're not. When they're you not. watch them they're back, not. when you watch them, you realize they're so not. Because they're not. I mean, he's such a cheap knockoff of Federer. When people you watch get in tripped up with the one-handed backhand, they get in cheap. And the and, and the fact that they look similar, but and they have no, dark hair. I mean, but it's not okay. <laughs> Federer, like, Federer, listen, yeah, it's Gasquet the is closer production. to be to Federer than Gregor. Yeah. Well, okay, fine. you know what? The serve, what? Janina. The serve. My God, the serve. You when he hits the first serve long, you're like, or into the net, you're like, mm, high probability of a double fault. High, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. high probability. And just press him a little bit, and he just falls apart like a. Yeah, and that's what toys. that's what I was, was that's why I'm really surprised about 2017 pressed. because he I was, thought the way he came out against um the way he came out against um did he win Brisbane? He won Brisbane this year, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Yes, he won Brisbane. Yeah, he, so he started off the year very well, and very you know strong. what? He was showing the confidence, and he was showing that he was not letting down, and he was thinking about the matches and the point, his point construction. 
ever since I just think Melbourne, you have to put some stock into who his opponent was. That's what I'm saying. After I mean, Melbourne, I will, I will, but I, I kind of a person like Gregor. So many times. He has faced Federer yeah. enough time to not be overwhelmed by the situation. He doesn't have to be the overwhelmed moment. by the situation. I don't think that's what it is. I'm saying Federer is just that much better. When you, no play somebody, that when you better. play somebody that's that that is better at every single thing that you do, sure, for sure, for sure, you look sure. worse than you are. But you know what? But the thing about it is that if you can go toe to toe with Nadal, who is just like a fucking wall with a monster on the fucking court, right? Grego has been around on the toe for a while. He's not Zarev. Fair I enough. Accept, and guess who's been going toe to toe with Nadal all Zarev. season, Reels? And guess who's accept... been beating him? Federer. I mean, look at the whole picture. Look no. at this year as a whole, the season as a whole. What we are seeing from Roger Federer is insane. He's there lost no... two fucking matches. He's and you know 35 what? I have to years say, old. I have to say, you know what? I love Federer. There's no doubt about it. But I have to say, Men, you gotta step up. Since two thousand three, only four people has won Wimbledon. Three, four. Since two thousand three to two thousand seventeen, but this four is no different. No, have this won is, Wimbledon. This is no different than when we talk about how much better Serena is than everybody else, and how champions are special. I don't but, know why you expected Grigor to be so I much didn't, better. I didn't, when, I didn't, when, I didn't when, expect Grigor to hold win. On, hold on. No, no, no. I, no when not Federer win. is playing at the level that he's playing at right now, today. Listen, yes, I expected he him to be competitive harder. in the matches. Yeah. He could play better. I didn't expect, listen, I expected Federer to win that match. Like, I was like, five sets, Federer's got it. But the problem, it's not the fact that Grigor lost. It was the manner of the losing. Like he did not, he did not press Federer at all. There and was I'm no saying, sense of uncertainty there. Right now, that's what I'm saying. How I, could he not? When will he begin to? When will he begin to? This is a question you have to ask of Grigor. When will listen? You know who's going to be? I you don't know who's think press? it had anything to do with Grigor. Sometimes people don't play well because their opponent is too fucking good. Uh, it, was, it doesn't I, mean I, they're I, bad. Listen. They just can't. I mean, listen, I get it. I, I'm trying to remember the stats from that match. I mean, I don't even know if Federer was playing even lights out tennis. I don't think he was. I mean, his serve was still good, but there were just, there were like rally shots that Grigor just punked out of. Maybe he needs to get Federer's racket because he was doing the shank thing. I mean, he just was, he seemed completely unprepared for the occasion and it was a total bust. Yeah. It really was. And I don't mean that I needed him to win the match, Janina. I was just saying it was just the manner of the losing. It was so tepid and so tame. It really was that kind of a match. I mean, Raonic put up more of a battle, which is what I mean. It's like Raonic is the one in that generation that is consistently putting his best foot forward. I don't know. You only All have I'm to do enough. Me. I was happy that Federer checked Raonic. <laughs> he checked him hard. That motherfucker needed to he be did. shut he down. Checked him very hard. He rude last year, and you're paying for that shit. But you're a super coach because your former okay, coaches but... are coaching Grand Slam winners this year, and you oh. can't even smell a semifinal. Just saying. Just saying. But you know who also really failed? If you look at the way the draw played out, Sangha. Look at the draw. Oh, well, first Look of all, you know what? I missed, I missed the rat last week. Sangha, I am so not here for your bullshit. If you <laughs> fucking have a, if you, if you have to play a postponed match the next day, don't motherfucker come out the next day and get broken and lose the match. For two I mean, straight why? majors, Sangha had to play the next match, the match, and then fucking lost it. Y'all could have played that shit in the practice court. In fact, you should have just called the player's office and said, you know what? I'm not even playing. Give him the bye. Because Sangha, you ain't ready for this shit. But think about that. And don't draw. tell me shit is about being a daddy. No. Because that shit ain't holding water. Look at the draw, though. Look at the draw. Now that we know, and we had, we said that Murray was injured, we knew he was, and we knew that if somebody if he met any kind of resistance that was remotely. Thank helpful. you, Max Reese. But look at Sangha. How the hell? I mean. Sangha gets through that match. There's no reason why he can't get through Anderson. And then he faced like a hobbled Murray, 
who has blocked him for the last couple of years. You're right there at a the semifinal, and you're facing uh -huh. Chillich. Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm not buying the fucking Hobble Murray story either. I am no, so Murray sick was of Hobble. No, I tell you right now. Let me tell you honestly, God, let me tell you really. He, Murray should have gone down to pair. Murray was limping the entire match. He was in pain the whole match. The but he wasn't in enough pain to not love play. The drama, girl. No, 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 because it's his, because it's his, because it's his home slam. Drama, trying to tell me Sanga Crows are coming together, that bitch. No, 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 no. no. Wait, funny. wait. Murray, Murray's, Murray's hip is a real problem. I'm actually taking the rest of the season off. Murray's hip was a problem. But you know what Murray has better than the, the other people? He knows how to compete. Pear, Pear broke Murray twice in the first set. He was upper break in the second. He could have won that match in straight sets. But Pear was doing Pear. <laughs> and I was looking at him. I'm like, Murray, yep. Murray, Murray came out walking like Federer did when he had the injury in Indian Wells. Cocked up ass. Can't walk. I know he has a duck walk normally, but he could not move the first couple games. And I was like waiting for Pear to notice. So, you know, after that match, Pear's like, Murray's completely fine, not injured at all. I was like, bitch, you were just paying attention to yourself. And then guess what? And then the next match, Query pushed him to four sets, and the next thing you know, he couldn't walk. Because that's all you needed. Murray just needed some resistance, and his body would have broken down. His body was primed and ready to break down, and none of them did that. And that's when you said, Janina, you're, you and Reels have been saying you guys need to bring it. Those guys, they need to stop thinking about themselves and pay attention to the person across from them. Not the thing with I don't Federer, with that player. The but thing I do I remember. With Federer. Federer was no, playing about, lights sorry. out tennis at some point. But I'm just saying in general, Federer didn't not drop us at this tournament. No, I'm talking about Murray, though. I'm talking but about none of these players I'm talking, really push. I'm talking about this Murray moment. Murray could Murray sat there in that in that press conference and said that he thought he could have a chance to get to the quarters or the semis, knowing that he had a wonky hip. How are you gonna know you have a wonky hip and think that you could still make it through a draw? And you know what? He wasn't wrong. No, he wasn't wrong. But how wonky is it? Are you because okay, well, here's the thing. This is the problem that I have with it. The way okay. that it was addressed by the media, it like, Maya, I'm not trying to put you on blast, but let me just share this that she shared with me. She wasn't watching all of the match. She was listening to it on Wimbledon radio. And she said they made it sound so bad for Murray that she was practically on the verge of tears. Like she felt so bad for him. And how could he play? I was watching it on TV. And yeah, they're talking about this hip injury. And it's it's been constant. And it's been a problem and blah, blah, blah. But I'm watching him move and I'm like, all right, I'm not going to say that you don't have an injury, but I cannot believe that Murray would risk his career because they made it seem that bad. Is he really going to continue playing and risk his career? And I watched this motherfucker moving and yeah, he could come up hobbling, but if it's as bad as they were saying it was, he wouldn't have been able to move the way that he was moving when he was clearly going to lose to query. Because I remember when it was, the, what about the final set? But no, what about the final set? set four? In set four, when Query was about to go up 5-1, there was a point that was, yeah, it was ridiculous. unbelievable. It was ridiculous. And I thought, he was what still him? trying. He what was him? still trying. He was still trying. But listen, Murray is the same guy. I'm going I'm to blow up Chilich's spot. Murray is the same guy that played five sets with a blister. And Chilich started crying with his. I'm not saying Was that his the problem same. today? Was it a blister? <laughs> Yes, a blister, okay? I'm just but I'm just saying that Murray's tolerance for pain is something that he I, I think he likes. I think he builds his game off of his willingness to be out there and be in pain. Well, I think probably that's but, stupid. I think that's I mean, I know, but I don't that's, know. that's what he did. You know, we've saw we've seen Murray damage his body to get to the pinnacle often. He did it for World Tour Finals. He does it a lot. And I mean, I, I don't think Murray, honest to goodness, I don't think Murray should have played Wimbledon. I really don't. I mean, he says that, you know what, he was going to give himself a good chance to get to the semis. And you know what, the way the draw played out, he was. He was fine. But you know what, if Murray had made his ass to the final, we would have still had a same, we would have had the same damn ass final. Because he was not fit. 
I mean, yeah. and it, he really wasn't. And so I just, to me, I was just so frustrated watching because like in the peer match, I'm watching this dude and I was like, dude, get out of your own head. <laughs> I, mean, like, I can't deal. I was, <laughs> but I, I mean, you know, but, but you're right. I mean, but even, even in the query match, the funny thing about it is that actually Murray could have done that in three, right? He had a chance to, and he messed up mm -hmm. and he ended up, you know, ended up losing to um, Corey, but it's just, I, I mean, the thing that convinced me that Murray was having a problem was that there was a report about his hip and then immediately Yvonne Lendl and his entire team went out publicly. and was like, Oh no, the hip's fine. First of all, Yvonne Lendl never he gives doesn't you information. Talk. No, you're right. He, he doesn't talk. So for him to come out and be like, oh, no, it's 100% fine. I was like, 100% fine? Okay, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. like, and then if you notice, he wasn't lifting off on his serve, which is, you know, that's traditional for Murray. But it was, it, you know, what? it was different to watch it. Because you're just like, dude, somebody. Why this Did you feel like out? somebody needed to tell him just stop? Listen, I did. I well, really I, did. I, I don't I, think I anyone, thought, but, but, but let's see 100. We have seen Murray run his body down, what, two years in a row? Oh, We've I, also yeah. seen Murray be in a situation he's where stop. he's 100% healthy and he's grabbing his back. We've seen yes, it all. Yes, I know. We know he I does. Know. Murray he, he, for me to he, take yeah, it So that's why I didn't buy the hit bullshit, he, right? I'm just he, saying, he, is, he is, I mean, that is, he is a bit of the boy who cried wolf. You're right. But I really do genuinely believe that he was hobbled in many of the, in the match and you know what and, and just, yet he was able to get through it so you know what props to him for doing that you're right, right. i mean to the point where that. you're not even certain if he was injured you know what i mean well, an interesting but, thing uh, came up an interesting thing i think it was uh nadal not nadal somebody was shading i think it was novak yeah yes i believe it's novak look people i know novak shade because i'm a shady bitch so i know shady <laughs> trying to say you know well they took time off you know like and maybe we should and let me just yeah, put this on here okay this is why you should take your vacation and your sick days this is why some mornings you get up in the morning and you just be like you know what fuck work you need a mental health day and you take it off because the the atp tour and the wta is not mandatory you it are not isn't. supposed to be anywhere you could take the l and drop the money and you know pull up a doctor's note in fact you can miss any major any um world to any master series you want to you just have to have a legitimate excuse okay a doctor's note and we know these things can come by very easily thanks to maria sharapova in fact you don't <laughs> even need a doctor to give you a note just saying you just I have to say I, you need I, it I, I, so you don't have to show up every week yeah. and every month you why can do take people the keep time having off. that conversation? Why do we keep having that conversation but, about the schedule? And listen to me. And I don't know why people are jumping on this bandwagon because of Roger Federer. Rafa has done this several times. For Just years. Justine Enna has doing. done this several times. You take a time off and then you show up and you start clocking and grabbing wigs. You <laughs> can do this, people. You don't even need to show up at work. You're a millionaire. You got money. <laughs> Like seriously, you know, listen to me. Let me tell y'all something. If reels get five million dollars, fuck that. If reels get that two weeks pay that these people get plus that U.S. Open series money, I'm going to I'm going to the jobs that I've already left and tell them fuck you, fuck you, fuck everybody, <laughs> and then go to the one I'm working in and sit down there and clock in like a regular day and let the first motherfucker tell me some shit. The first month, tell me anything. Let them even look at me side to be like, you know what, bitch, fuck you. I don't need this shit. Pocketbook, and I'm getting the fuck out of there. Pocketbook. Not, paper, you, know, the pocket yeah. you don't need to show up. They don't need the money. And it ain't and it can't be about the competitive spirit because you can't be that aggressively crazy competitive if you know your body ain't right. Mm. You can't be. Mm. Listen, Venus Come is on, no. Venus did used to take more time off, and now she's playing like every week. You better believe that Venus is soaking up her last glory moments in the sun. Because she's I don't managed care. her body. This she's managed taken her Venus body. several years to figure out. However, she's playing more now than she used to. But 
I don't care how you look at it. She's on her way out. She's 37 years old. She's at the end of her career. She's probably but, doing as much as she can while she still can. Her schedule is heavier now than it has been in years. And that's fine. And I really think it's because she wants to enjoy the tour as much as she can because she knows she's almost done. She's old. But, she's almost but, done. I mean, I don't, I don't get this. Because you think about well, it. Well, you know, the thing is, I don't people, understand why they want to edit the schedule. Why do I they want to edit it? You have the choice. You know how, like, they say you have 52. Schedule. That's the thing. You, They're like, oh, the schedule should be cut back. And I'm like, but why? The schedule is there for points. If you need points, you for go money. get points. If you don't need points or, th or if you want. But the thing is, do you notice how the schedule works? Because this is one of the things that I noticed with some of the younger players on tour. We talked about this, right? They don't expect to get to the end of, like, tournaments. So they, they basically sign up for everything. And then they get to the end of a tournament and they got to show up the next week. But yeah. the thing about the way the points work is if you get to the tournament, you can skip the next week. You've made enough points. Like, exactly. I don't understand why people haven't figured that out yet. So this idea that, oh, no, our schedule, you know, the schedule is the harshest one on tour. And if you don't show up, you get <laughs> – listen – the points are there to be taken. Why would you want to take more points off the table for people? Do you know what I mean? Like, that's what I don't get. You have a smorgasbord of points, and then you plan your schedule. You be thoughtful about it and say, you know what? I'm going to peak here. I'm not going to peak here. I'm going to take a rest here. You mix and match it up. And you know what? And if you actually and get to the end of a tournament, if, if you if have a point. You have points. Yeah. And if you lose early, you can always take a wild card into another event. I'll play the quali if you're in a, if you're a scrub. <laughs> you can. Come on now. Y'all, let, let's not be crazy. No one is forcing Rafa, Novak, or Murray to play any goddamn You know training. who's forcing them, though? Their sponsors. This is the way of... You need to come up with a better sponsor Novak relationship. Novak has talked about this. Novak has said, I don't really want to do this, but I have obligations. That means uh, my sponsors boo, are telling me. You know now, what? if they fall under, the, if they fall to that pressure, yeah. that's on them. But you, but you're right, Andrew. That's exactly what's happening. You know, at some point, you got to be an adult and yep. say, "I don't want to do this today, and I'm not going to, and I don't yeah. have to. And you can't make me. But, but and if I, I mean, want cake for breakfast, I'll eat fucking but, cake for breakfast." Let's be one hundred. But you know what, Janina? You know what though? This is because when you cut in too many checks, you can't take breaks. But you know what? But let me, for people let me, in your let me, family, you can't take breaks. You're right. Isn't but we're not talking about this isn't Fabio Fonini complaining here. This isn't Joe <laughs> no, Williams. <it's>, <laughs> this is a number one claim. Okay, this is this I is know. Joker and this is Murray. And if y'all don't have enough pull to go and say, Look, I can't play. Look, you know how much money um Nishikori is pulling in, and this motherfucker don't play anywhere. <laughs> More money. Michigan is banking more money from um Uniqlo than Novak. Michigan got one major final appearance and he lost it. Oh I'm telling God. you, look, you need to get a better agent and talk to somebody and tell somebody, I am a human being. This is a body. This can't be running up and down like a fucking metronome. This isn't this isn't the ever ready bunny. Okay, this is an energizer bunny. Okay. I need to be. I can't play every week. I can't show up every week. I can't win every week. Vetera puts out the schedule at the beginning of the year and said, This is where I'm gonna go. Manage your schedule. Talk to these people. Come on now. And you know what? If you want to take four months off, take it off. Yep. Nobody gonna be mad because you know what? Y'all ain't doing shit on the toe fucking now anyway. See how fans ain't gonna miss y'all anyway. So y'all ain't winning shit according to your fans. Y'all ain't doing what y'all supposed to do. So maybe you need a break. So take it. I won't miss you. Oh, stop. <laughs> so just saying, y'all not hurting me. Okay, so what? I don't buy your shit. But let's be honest. Okay, so this was a scheduling thing. So what was going on for Novak? Like, what happened to the number two so player in the world? Novak says that he has this elbow slash arm injury that he's been carrying for a year and a half now. Mm -hmm. well, Again, you see, if this is true. Take some fucking time off and you know rest what? and heal. Let's hold up here. Let's hold up here. You see, this is why I don't fucks with Murray and I don't fucks with Novak. I don't <laughs> believe them. Why? 
Give me Diva Dal any day when I know he's gonna put out a fake doctor's report and I can say, you know what? I don't believe this shit. Diva Dal is gonna come up with an excuse. Albeit it's not medical, it don't make any goddamn sense to the the, the the Grey's Anatomy, but you know what? It's something. Novak has been saying all year long, it's nothing physical. I'm okay. Well, I guess, I guess I guess I guess he said it. This is the first time Novak has introduced an injury, even and though all of a sudden, even though he, he mentioned had an one. ankle, an elbow injury, an arm injury, yeah. and you're saying this has been going on for a year and a half, motherfucker. You made it to the Wimbledon. You made it to the US Open final. I don't understand this. What are you talking about? You won the French Open. What are you talking about? You made it to the World Tour finals. What are you talking about? You can't know. Y'all need to be straight. Look, nobody, you're a human being. Nobody's going to be mad at you if you tell me you got an elbow injury. I'm but, not going to be mad but, at but you. Where, but where did the elbow injury come from as a narrative? He's pulling out of his ass. Well, I mean, it's fine for him to be injured, but wouldn't it have been better for him to have been dealing with this whole navig navigating this whole storyline about how tragic he was if he just said he had an elbow injury this whole time? I mean, exactly. And, be and because also Andre Agassi said there was nothing physically wrong with him. It was basically a mental challenge. This is why we have challenge. to call bullshit. Mm, that's interesting. That's weird. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. I mean, like, the, the I, listen, I noticed he started having an, en an elbow issue in the... Can I tell you, though, I feel so bad. I feel so bad for Manorino. Because I was like, Novak, why didn't you give up the GOAT in the Manorino match? <laughs> Thank you very much. Manorino could have cashed that check. Finally, we had a French man who was working his ass off trying to get some way. And you he decided was to trying so hard. And I was like, give it to him, Novak. Oh <laughs> Especially God. now Look. that it's... <laughs> Look, so here, we have, so here we have the second major in a row where Novak punked out. Second major in a row. Mm -hmm. And I want y'all to at me. At me. <laughs> Hashtag Noli fam. Real said Noli punked out of the second major in a row. Because ain't nobody no, telling me like... no bullshit how Dominic Keane bageled Nole's ass at the French Open on Philippe Chatrier. Listen, Fuck there's no discussion bullshit. about that. Novak said it was over in the first set. He said that. That was there's a tank. No... That was a tank. Mm. And yeah, the motherfucker I mean... decided, you know what? I'm punking out of this quarterfinals match. Mm. I'm punking out. Mm. And I know his family's going to be trying to tell me who, who he didn't play that center code. <laughs> Bitch. I ain't got time for that shit. You got on a court is the same fucking dimension, okay? The court is the same dimension, right? Court 18 is the same dimension as, as center court. And if you're a real player, if you're a number one player, you can play anywhere. Anywhere. So me not about that life. No lay something is going on. And you know what, girl? We're not here for that bullshit. So deal with your shit to the side with your guru. And don't be blocking up the headlines. That's all I'm saying. Oh no! Are you, you know coming what? to I tell mean... us the truth? Because it's too messy. Yeah. I'm just tired of the Nole bullshit. It's just too much, too much. Novak either you, either you. Novak has said he just needs to Novak needs take to go. Take the break. He needs take to come up with a definitive story, take and a break, break and come up with one story. It's too confusing. You're cheating on your wife. You don't want a baby, a second baby. You you got <laughs> mental issues. You got physical issues. It's too much. We're too yes. confused. Master you know what? Made Next it. thing we gotta hear, you feel a doping test. And Master then it's just, too much, just made a really good point. This what? is Novak pre twenty eleven. This is what he used to do. What? All this the is fucking who he time. Has. This was he. This was who he was. He, this Always. Was, this was who he was. We knew who he was back then. This was who Novak, Novak was back then. I'm not sure what this means now. And let me just Maybe put it out there. I'm sorry, just to say, Federer don't need to face Novak because Federer was dealing with Novak all when all the other scrubs weren't trying to handle Novak. So Federer has <laughs> dealt with Novak for you people in 2014, 2015, and 2016. So he has done his job. So let him just <laughs> roll on up in these major finals and just snatch these wigs. That he's beating Diva Dal along the way, all the more better. But you know, I don't even need Diva Dal to be king. Just saying. Okay. All right. So let's talk about let's talk about the fact that you know when we had Roland Garros, we said that La Decima was fine, but there was but nothing the memorable was about it. Blah. Was blah. I 
I must say that this Wimbledon had some problems on the men's side. I, I think the only really stellar match was the Rafa Nadal Jill Mueller. Mueller match. Yeah. That's really the match. It's the most memorable. It's like last year, it was the Chilich Federer match. This year, it was the Nadal Mueller match. And it's funny because both matches ended up um, having people who were nowhere near the finals, right? <laughs> last year and this year. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, um, I mean, I think a case could be made for that, the fact that this, as much as I love it, and I love it 100%, this was a real, this was a real, like, you know, this was a you walk. Know what? This was a walk. This was a walk. Man. I like, am agree with you, but you know what? I'm going to put an asterisk right Federer and Fidel, Fidel well, did it. Of course you did are. It. What's of your course. asterisk? Let's just hold up, okay? Right, first and foremost, one, no one is building a statue of Federer at, at SW19. <laughs> Oh my God! You're really upset about that, there. aren't you? Just <laughs> point out there. That's why. Maybe if he <laughs> had <Two>. ten. <laughs> well, if they ain't building shit for Martina Navratilova, and as much as I don't like that heifer, if they ain't building a statue for her, Federer can't have one. And if they build one for Federer, I'm breaking it. I am oh. mashing it. You are very oh, angry. He's he is. She still got feelings. Just saying, just, just saying. feelings. Anyway, right, is right. But let me just say that you know. Um, I think Federer's. I think when Nadal showed up at um, La Sleep Chatterie, he just was just tearing shit up. There was just nothing. No, no. Uh, he just looked invincible and he played invincible. Mm -hmm. None of the, none of this. He didn't, he didn't go to a tie break. There was no seven five sets. He just steamrolled everybody. And I think Federer's was much more competitive. Competitive. Although I think the players against him just sort of got lost in the moment here. I thought there was some pretty tennis at some point. For example, in the finals today, I thought that um, they were playing some excellent grass school tennis. But first time in a very long time, I have in to say on the men's that... side, I saw a lot of grass school tennis. I saw people trying to move forward. I saw Sylvan Volley. I saw people trying to shot points. I saw all of that in a lot of the men for a certain point. But I think... I'd have to say for most of these men, and that's why I'm saying these men need to step the fuck up. Because in the last, since from 2003 to 2017, four men has won Wimbledon. Yeah. Stepping their shit up. Because honestly, no one really took it to Federer. They took it to Federer. I mean, like, we have yeah. a problem when... In moment. We have a problem when Thomas Burdich is the only strongest motherfucker on there. Mental tough one. <laughs> we have a problem, people. When Thomas Burdich is the only one who pushed Federer, we got a problem. We have problem, and you and you know what? And be honest, and to be honest, the only reason why Tomas pitched Federer to be is because Federer's serve was off that day. That's it. And I'm telling you, if, he, if if his serve had been clocking, I don't even think it would have been that close. I'm just telling you. Look, Tomas Burdich <laughs> is the one who Federer almost got lost by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all are doing something right. Um, yes, it's true. We we can chalk this up as being a piss poor men's tournament. We can. A little Federer bit, just yeah. steamrolled in, and what of the case? I mean, Pro probably but not just in for Federer, but for everyone for the, else. For everyone else, maybe we can see a lot of these people got lost in the moment on center court. But you know what, mm -hmm. Buttercup? You know what? I read something rather interesting quite recently. I was reading this book. Um, I forget what it's called, but it's by this guy by Craig Hodges. Um, mm -hmm. He played for the NBA Bulls. Michael Jordan run him out of basketball because he spoke up about <laughs> the truth. But anyway. Craig Hodges wanted to go to UCLA because it was this basketball dynasty back in the day. I don't know much about basketball. Or Why is Master Ray saying that Nadal is one of the three people on tour that can can stop Federer, but Federer has beaten Nadal every time they've won this year? What? Why? Are, why is this in my feed? I think the reason why is because they have not encountered each other in. Um, well, no, actually, they have in a five. They played the Australian Open final. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, yeah. Open. Yeah. I mean, I just think that's Mass silly. Math Ace, Math Ace, please don't go to my bad book, okay? You don't want to be, don't you know be, don't what? be gabbing. Wait, okay? wait, don't be gabbing. But anyway, wait, wait, wait. Anyway, you know what? Because that's the that's the whole that's the old narrative. I mean, this is the thing because I've seen people say this. I mean, I'm gonna let you get back to your point, Reels. But this is the thing people have said. Left to his, own, look, I think the one thing that this tournament has revealed, and I'm sure Nole Fam is gonna be quite happy about this, is that you need a strong Djokovic on the tour. Because realistically, the men's tour is about the big four and everybody else. It just is. Why and is it in the big four? 
No, I know. The big three and Murray. The, the big three and Murray. Um, mm-hmm. But you know yep. what? I like I like to think of Murray as being a big four when we talk about Wimbledon. I think he he's in the he's in the conversation for Wimbledon. And I think what you realize I'll give you is. That. Yeah, because because realistically, the men's tour turns on in the second week. And if the top four are all not firing, you're not going to get what you want, which is a compelling final or semifinal. It's just these guys are just so much stronger than everyone else below them. They just are. And, um, and so what you have right now is you have a faltering Murray a resurgent Federer, and again, Rafa, this was not his surface, and he encountered a fantastic grass court player. Who, who, was, playing is, hot, who was playing hot Who all was year. playing uh, yeah, all year, and then it still took freaking over five hours, practically, it seemed, to my mind. So what it goes, it just goes to show you, it's the thing that our podcast has been talking about since, we've been talking about this since 2014. Right, we talked about this in 2014, and people keep forgetting that again. And I know people keep saying this. Two, no, 2014, 2014. Because remember, fe- 2014, when the Novak was at his, his it was. <laughs> well, but I mean, like offline, o- we were talking about this. Right. But yeah, yeah, that's true. But in the podcast, but we've been saying all along that the only person who's been competitive with Novak has been Federer, right? And so when Novak falters, people are talking about, I, thought, I think I saw a tweet from a reporter that said, you know what, the only reason, this is fantastic for Federer, but the only reason why he's doing well is because Novak and, um, and Murray have faltered. First and foremost, never offer Murray up on grass for Federer. That's Thank not you a very thing. much. We have proven this. Uh, and they'll uh, prove um, but then we, our shit books for that. Uh, <laughs> that exactly. But the other thing to, be, to remember is, again, Neck Federer and Djokovic. So if Djokovic isn't around, who is the natural person to come out of there? It's Federer. So you're right in the sense that Djokovic is faltering, but Federer has been Djokovic's number two for a very long time. The only reason why things flipped was the end of last year, six months when who was missing? Federer, Federer. and Rafa. So it's like fact, people need to just go back and at remember. Federer <laughs> rushing to almost close to being number one. Exactly, exactly. He was almost to number one. So Novak and he was number two. Yes, Novak and Federer have been the top two players on <laughs> tour for, for the last time. two and a half years. For the last two and a half years, and if something was going to happen to Novak. The person who is going to come through is Federer. So people yep. need to stop pretending that it's because of Murray. Because guess what? Murray might have stalled Federer at Australia, but he's ne- he hasn't stalled him on grass yet. Hasn't stalled him at the U.S. Open yet. So, yep. And he certainly wasn't going to stall him at Roland Garros if Federer chose to play that. You know what I mean? It's not it. So this and narrative- he never stalled him in Melbourne. So if we just have to have a longer memory. Federer has yeah, been I mean, you just have to remember the number wait, 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 Has Murray ever beaten Federer at a major? Um, I think at the Australian Open. Australian Open once, only once, maybe. Once. Remember, when? remember that long match when Federer fought his when? hardest. It was um semifinal. It was like a tussle, five setter, I think. Um, it was the. Fi- I think it was when Murray lost. <laughs> was it when Murray went? When Murray met no- Novak in another final. Yeah, it was 2000, was it 2010? Oh, 2000? Prodigy no. said he beat him in 2013. See, I don't remember yes, that. Yes, 2013. never happened. No, that, never that happened. was a bad year. But this never is, happened. people need to remember these things. You got to remember these. The way the top four works, it changes. But just because Andy Murray and Novak are one and two does not mean, they were one and two with the absence of Rafa and Fed, and mostly absence of Federer. And then you have Federer return, and he has essentially come back to the same position he occupied for the last two and a half years, which was number yep. two behind Novak. And now that you've got Novak faltering, and guess what? This is what people were afraid of. This is why and, everyone embraced and Rafa. Murray has not stepped up to the plate and asserted and, def- and separated himself. As the himself. number one player. No, not yeah. at all. Y'all are the one who they talking before. While we were saying it a long time ago that Murray number one ain't mean shit. <laughs> This is just a calcul- oh. mathematical calculation. Yeah, it was math, but he, he killed math. himself to get there. And the other thing to, to remember is this is why people were, affr- this is why people embrace Nadal. Let's be honest. 
let's be 100. Everyone embraced Nadal because if that Federer and Serena would be holding the practically number of slams because they would have run roughshod over their respective tours. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That is what happened. And so, you know what I mean? Like, I, would that's say, the I mean, game-wise, I'd have to, one of the things I noticed about Federer this tournament, and I've noticed it a long time, but I have to say, Federer showed variety of the game. A lot oh, of these well. men were the problems is that they were showing the same shit. Federer knew exactly same what you shot. were going to try to do over here. You're doing the same shit. Particu particularly Chilich today when he started feeling that blister. I was like, Chilich, hmm, you feeling that blister now, right? It's easier to feel the mm. blister when you go down a set, when you, don't, you go down a set, the first yeah. set. If Chilich had won that first set, I bet you he would have played through that blister. I told him to take a lie down after that blister when he first called a medical time. He didn't listen to me, but he got I a break. Had to, in the I had to set. go away <laughs> from the TV for a few minutes there. And, and when I came back... I just saw Marin with his head in a towel crying. I'm like, what's going on? I thought he was about to retire. I mean, I didn't I didn't learn until we started talking this evening that this was all over a blister. He was seriously, I mean, I know a blister can hurt. I get it. But he was crying like that over a fucking blister for real? It was a blister? Oh. That's why he was crying like that? This motherfucker was sobbing like he just Marin got Marin forget like, that he like had he to hit again. You know what? Marin has always been better or hard, though. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, he keep losing. Yeah. But, um, um, except that um, U.S. Open final, but you know what? Federer felt generous. Oh and no, he, he did it. That. He felt tired. <laughs> Look, we're, like, these are alternative facts, and we're no, not changing. No, them, okay? but I have to say, Marin fucking kills Federer in that match. It was ridiculous. You know, what? you know what? I love about Federer. You know what I love about Federer? He Federer being a shady fucking <laughs> he is. He's every time before they meet up. Well, you know, Marin <laughs> killed me last time around. You know that U.S. Open final. I know. And, and you know what's funny about that? That's the only and one then, that Marin and has Marin, over Federer. That's the only one. And then Marin goes, and then Marin smiles and be like, "Yes, I did kick his ass." And then Federer be like, "Motherfucker, this is like Maria and Sharapova. This is like Maria and Serena. You beat me that one time, bitch, and you're never gonna beat me again. You never come <laughs> no, out here no know. wheelchair." Yes, <laughs> but I mean, I have to say, I mean, going back to what final. I was trying to say, oh, it was a shit final. I was Sorry. happy the better one. Of course, I was happy. I'm always happy but when it was he a bad final. That final was shit. It was a Look, shit shot. If Venus, if Venus had won yesterday, I could have taken five cents. But you know what? Venus lost, and she lost badly. So you know what? This was a perfect final to my soul. I told y'all that Federer was going to be the boy who lived, and a bitch, I was right. Yeah. You also said Venus was going to take care of Muguruza, and you were wrong, Sybil <laughs> <Trilani. laughs> I'm not here for any of that. All right. Okay. Can't get them all right. <laughs> but, I mean, I, what I was going back to say that I think the rest of the men told they have to step up. Y'all got to step the fuck up. I know we live in an age of yeah. social media, and, you know, mediocrity is okay, particularly if you're a white man. It is perfectly fine for you to be mediocre as fuck and eke out a pretty decent career. You know, you have enough followers only you know you can be like yay you know what i make some money i was number 20 on the tour and that's cute for you but i mean let's really we, we we talked about these statistics i think after um miami about the people who are winning the masters turtle tournament we talk about these statistics when you talk about the majors man you gotta have to step the fuck up you gotta have to do some kind of partnership something something this ain't cute I mean, this isn't just one tournament. These are imagine, all the tournaments. Imagine what Masters would look like if they were still best of five. I think you'd be, this would be a different ball game. <laughs> it would be a different oh tournament. And also, you know what would happen? God. People wouldn't play every week. Yep. People yep. would no, take some wouldn't. time. Around. Yeah. It's the finals. They wouldn't yeah. play every week. I think so, too. I think that actually would change the... I mean, obviously, I think it would change the nature of it. I don't know if... I don't know... If, if you'd have the continuous dominance by the top guys, maybe they just tire themselves out. You know what I mean? Like you can't be playing five best best of five sets back to back week in, week out like that. So you might have somebody peaking in one and then opting out of the next one and then maybe another maybe a young one could squirrel on through there. You never know. Well, another thing too that we shouldn't be probably thinking and um is that I think what these rest of the scrubs should do. Y'all keep complaining that you know what, these top guys have their own personal trainers. Yes, they do. They got money. They got money. They could spend their money however they like. Don't be mad at that. 
<laughs> what y'all motherfuckers should do is pool y'all resources together. Scrubs, birds of a feather flock together. Scrubs, you and I hanging around with Federer every day. So don't you don't have time to be jealous of what Federer got. How about five of you scrubs hire a trainer? Y'all playing the same beat circuit every week in, week out, and get your shit together. Okay. Hire a nutritionist. Insert, Move insert. I've seen Mugarutha and I breaking news. I've seen the picture she of Mugarutha and she looks good. She looks Let me see. good. I don't believe you are. No, I believe just you are. retweeted it. She lo- I- nope. Federer okay. looks good as always because he's a man. suit. Federer in a suit. That's what he does. But Mugaruta's dress suits her body. It does not make her look this. like an old lady. Her hair is on point. Her makeup is see. muted but beautiful. She. I have some questions good. about Merka's dress. I'm not feeling it. I always but... have questions about Merka's <laughs> style of clothes. So... I'm looking at Merka's dress. All right, girl. Right? You have a clutch. You have a clutch. <laughs> I love it. I love she it. I love it the right. clutch. She finally did it right. You know what? Bless you know you. what? I'm just going to say, because I'm being a shady bitch girl and you will forever be on my list. The hair looks good. It was one earring missing. I don't know. No, it's you got just the people walking you. Stop the it. eyebrows Sir, could have been done better. Looks good. Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. The, the, the eyebrows could have been done better. That V could have been a little bit deeper because you don't got any breasticles, so you can go a little bit deeper. But Her poor little boobies. But I'm giving you an 89 for this. 89 out of 100. You look cute. You look. That's all I'm saying, girl. That's I it. need that's to see Mirka. Is but you know what, girl? Taking pictures of Mirka. I need to see. I'm her. still Where not happy Mirka? with you, girl. Look at that face. Stole Venus trophy from her. Oh, uh, honey, her. Reels is looking for fault in everybody. Don't you worry. Whatever. I mean, Merker, uh, bro, no, Merker, no, no, Merker, okay. no, 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 Merker, no, 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 Merker, no, 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 girl. Where is she? I need to see her. <laughs> no, Merker, no, 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 girl, no. Nope. You ain't a nighty girl. You are wearing your <laughs> night clothes outside. Did Whoa! you share the picture? Whoa, Vika. Oh my God. I'm going to share this picture with y'all. I'm sharing a full length picture of Muguruza. She looks fabulous. She looks fantastic. Okay, I've just shared it. Everyone, check my timeline if you can. She looks great. She looks fantastic. I just shared it. She's Mirka looks stupid. <laughs> it's just a little dowdy. Just maybe if she dowdy. takes maybe if after she takes that shawl thing I off, think, it might yeah, be okay. I think after the shawl comes Is off, it's actually, she's grown? it's actually a shawl. So yeah, actually once you take the shawl off, I think the dress is pretty from the top, but it's so big. Um, Anywho, that was it. I hate her, but she looks good. <laughs> Garby looks great. So we're I'm retweeting images for Thank anyone you who's listening home live. Girl, she did the damn thing. Which of a homosexual she looks good. She, she looks good. <laughs> She looks fantastic. Her ass looks amazing. I know. That's fake. That's fake. That's fake. She ain't got no fake ass. Shut up. I don't want to hear. Marin Chilich, I don't want to see. Ooh, Heather Watson looks great. Oh, you know what, Piers Morgan? Fuck you. What did Fuck he say? Piers Morgan. Get a grip, say? Chilich. So you don't got to sob like a baby because you're losing. Get the fuck out of here. Do I have to All say, right. Chilich, your tears don't mean shit to my pain oh when my I God. felt Venus. But anyway, oh, what I was about to say a, a while ago about um, Santa Cole, I just have to say for the men, uh, y'all like keep getting lost in the moment mm-hmm. and whatever the case may be. But anyway, this book I was reading, Craig Hodges said that, you know, he wanted to play for UCLA, but he didn't get to play for UCLA. He got to play for Long Beach University in mm-hmm. California. And before he got there, the coach took him to UCLA basketball coach and took him to the school and said, you see your hair. See it? There's nothing mythical about it. No, let's go play at Long Beach and do the damn thing. And maybe some of these men need to get that shit in their head. Then maybe y'all need to go to some place and just see, you know, the moment isn't that big. That y'all need to get y'all a grip. These old people should not be dominating the tour. <laughs> because you know what? They have locked up the money. Because of federal winning, you motherfuckers can't get a special deal with Nike. Y'all just gotta be wearing the same shit. Because why is Nike gonna break Federal's contract when Federal is still winning? Why are they gonna break Federal's <laughs> contract when they're still winning? <laughs> this is why D. Vidal, this is why Djokovic is scrambling around and went with Uniqlo and went with Adidas. <laughs> like, oh. No, look, people, y'all gotta upset this monopoly, okay? Y'all have to <laughs> upset this monopoly. 
Don't right. fuck with Venus. <laughs> Don't fuck with Vetera. But I'm just saying. Yeah, there's, there is Andy. <laughs> there is Novak. And there's Rafa for y'all to beat. Okay? Handle those people business. Handle your business, people. Y'all are, oh, my gosh! Cute. This is cute. Federer, you guys are doing the back and forth with Garbi Muguruza. You better show, you better post pictures of the dance. <laughs> you gotta feel mm. like Federer just tweeted to Garby and bring it on, champ. So I want to see dancing. Bring back the dancing. Oh, I don't like to see Federer dancing. Why is Federer dancing is scary? <laughs> I know. I don't need to see that. Oh she's God. got dad. He's got dad dancing. I mean, it's a slow walk. It's a slow walk. Meanwhile, can we talk about Federer's children? I don't really like to talk about people's kids. But let me just I just love that the They're one adorable. son was picking his nose on camera. It was great. <laughs> I don't really know. That's how you see like, that's how he thought about the women's final. He's no. like, I don't care about daddy winning Wimbledon. Venus didn't win, so I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> and I'm here with him. But my favorite part was when one of the daughters was just like, You need to stop. Like, stop doing that. And he was like, No. <laughs> Love it. I do want to want to do I love it. it. Love it. Not here for me. I love, not here I for love that one like, of the girls took the boy's hands like, hello, you have to clap, and was trying to make him <laughs> clap. It was just adorable. But you know what I loved most of all? I loved Federer looking over and seeing his family, and that's when the emotions came. Because I that just saw so him falling. Special. I didn't see that. I didn't see that that's until what I got home. He looked over, and he saw his wife, and he saw his children, and he saw them Aww. cheering him on and they were there and that's when he got emotional and i was like that's oh, beautiful that's brutal. so special because oh, the girls so nice. the girls you know they get it more the boys don't know they're like whatever yeah. but the girls get it <laughs> <laughs> and you you as a parent want your children to remember things like there have been many I times wondered, like, can I really you can wish. you that Micah. Yeah, can you explain that? Because yeah, I was like, why do you want your kids to remember you achieving something? What is it? No, it, it isn't that. about achieving something, but you want them to remember a moment. And there are many times where you go, I know they're too young and this is special. Mm. That's all. Yeah. You and know you know they're I too mean, young I and they're not going to remember. I about that. You know what? That's because you don't have children. Weird. Oh, how dare okay, you? Wait. How dare you? <laughs> how dare you? Just saying. <laughs> How dare you? Okay. So Look, what? What differently do you I have feel? Spiritual real? babies. Okay. It's about oh, sharing okay. a moment with your family. It's not about what happened. I mean, it, I don't know. I mean, like you know what? I mean, I get this moment sort of like got weird to me. I think um, I was watching that Selma um, with Martin Luther King and also oh, with Medgar. Yeah. I mean, that's. I mean, for us, these people are these mythical people, right? That these great, wonderful. Yeah, but their parents history. for the kids, yeah. But the parents for the kids, you know, and the kids, you know, people would go up to these people and be like, your father was such a great man and whatever. And they're like, I miss my daddy. I lost my daddy. Yeah. And Federer is still alive. So for us, Federer means so much. But for these kids, they're like, daddy isn't home to do the homework. <laughs> daddy is <laughs> home. You no, know what I, don't I mean? Th- I don't think they, don't, they don't no, relate to their no, daddy no, no, as no, we you relate have- you have no idea how they relate to their father. You have no idea. Listen, no, no, no. Stop right they there. Can't. Stop. They can't. Federer hurt his knee giving his children a bath. Tell me that you imagine Federer bathing kids and that you didn't think somebody did that No, I'm not, I'm not saying that Federer you don't. Goes, I no, know, no, all wait, I'm saying on, wait, is wait, wait, you wait. don't get to say what he does and doesn't do with his family. You don't know. No, hold on. Wait, 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 you wait, don't wait. know. I think you oh, that's not, yeah, that's not what he's saying, I think. I'm I'm not saying that Federer is spending up all this time and he don't be with his family. I think he's made it abundantly clear, particularly in his absence. He said, "I got to spend more time with my children and with my family." And, and I realized that is very important to me. America says I'm done. He's done, and there's no questions asked. But what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is that at the end of the day, that just when you have a job like this or any kind of job, you miss out on your children, nonetheless. Yeah, you do. And these children are not do. going to see Federer. These children are never going to see Federer as a 19-time Grand Slam winner and beat Denial and then lost and all that. This is not how they're going to see their father. They're going to see this man who goes around and he belch when he drinks soda. Or perhaps, you know what? <laughs> he didn't give me the keys to the Maserati when I wanted to go out. <laughs> they don't see him like how I see him. Of course they, they don't. They never will. He's a bigger hero so to them I'm than he'll ever so, be to anybody so, so, else. So, so, so me, Which is why that, it's special for him to have his children and his family there. Yeah, share I get all moment. of that. But you know what? I don't think these kids need him to win. Of course I need they don't him need him to win. Well, no. Well, no. no they, they don't need him to win. 
That's not that's not the point. But anyway, it has nothing I, to do I about would be winning. happy. I would be happy. And let me just say that I've made peace with Federer retiring and Venus retiring ages ago. And mm-hmm. the fact that they're still out here playing, it's just it's all gravy a bonus. on top. It's a bonus. It's all a bonus. I am mad Margarita stole Venus title. And she can <laughs> add to the list of thieves along with uh what's her name? <laughs> Bethany Matic Sands and Raji Ram and oh Jack God, I'm Still not done with them. <laughs> No. But you know what? Wait, what I is normal? A, a decent I can't. I cannot with this. I understand what, what Reels is saying. Naturally, the relationship isn't normal or common. Somebody tell me what normal or common means. Normal to mean? my family isn't normal to the family down the street. I What's mean, you don't about? you don't get to do that. No, 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 no. I, I mean, but but your family down the street don't have a celebrity in their family. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, he's just they don't he, have a he's, celebrity. He's just talking about I'm people just saying, connecting to their father in a way that is really foreign to the kids because he's just their father. Right. For the he's for just people, their yeah, for people. I mean, these for, other that, things. That's why I mentioned you're not Luther King and yeah, and uh, because with these people, we're gonna be like, how can you not? This man is amazing as your father. Like, oh my god, I wish Federer was my daddy. People say and that. Like, yeah, but that's not yeah, really the case. You don't know. This, yeah, the situation is quite different. Yes, because no matter whatever, particularly for the boys, they're like, what Federer is doing right now doesn't mean anything to them. <laughs> it yeah. doesn't mean anything because they no, don't it know. It doesn't mean anything. It and the little anything. girls, apparently, what I find funny is when the little girls are telling me, "Daddy, you should know you should try this on court," and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> "I'm very confident on the court." You know, it's just kids <laughs> because this is how kids are. I'm an, as an adult, I won't say shit to Federer. I'll be like, you know what, whatever you want to do, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they're losing, then I'll be screaming insults at the TV. But I mean, it's quite different. <laughs> the children, I mean, the children, I mean, that's why, I mean, like, whatever time. But they will grow up one day and realize who their father is. Yeah, but he would sure. always just be their father. You'd real, course, they would realize as it should be. Their father. But I think it, they, they would never connect. How, particularly how people get really crazy and obsessed about Federer and, and other tennis players as well. How do you know? How can you yeah. say that? I mean, I'm, who's to say that they don't grow up obsessed over Zverev? Like, oh, they can. Maybe, that's you know, fine. So, well, and then they'll be that's able to absolutely relate. Absolutely fine. I mean, that's, oh, that's no, it. they can't relate. Uh, okay, but anyway, 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 anyway. All right, anyway. let's move through this. Anyway, so sorry, y'all. We have finished with Wimbledon, and it was a mm. one for two. We got one out of the two right. <laughs> a one and a half. <laughs> one and a half. And we're quite happy with that. But we know what? Um, we're happy. Federer was fantastic. Either got Venus got vanquished and motherfucking Mugaru. Mm-hmm. So that's all we need to say about that situation. <laughs> but girl, you look fine in the dress. I will give you that. She does. She, um, she cleaned up good. And I will say to anyone. Up, so thank the homosexual who did that. Yeah. To anyone who has ever had dreams of going to Wimbledon. It is as incredible as it looks. Oh, tell us about that. We didn't even talk about it. How small is center court? Actually, very small. I think very small in the sense that I think center court, you can fit two center courts inside Arthur Ashe. Okay. It it is the smallest stadium, right? Yeah. It's a small stadium. I actually think, I I dare say that it maybe compete with like Cincinnati's main stadium. It's not big. It's not big. So basically, that's why it's so hard to get in there, huh? Yeah. And every view is good. And oh, what's up? You know, another thing to note, everyone, every single ticket, the ticket prices only change per day. It doesn't matter where you sit, you're paying the same. Another there's reason only, it's so hard to get in. There's all there's only one price for the tickets. Which so is, if which you're is sitting wow. in the last row or if you're on the front row baseline, you're paying the same yep. price. Same wow. exact Unless price. you're in the royal box. So Unless you you're in the Royal or Box, wherever where you get a special invitation, how Im- how impressive is that? Imagine if Arthur Ashe did shit like that. <laughs> then you know what I mean. <laughs> like, I mean, but the thing is, because I think you can only do that because all seats are good, right? If all seats allow you a fairly yeah, intimate Arthur view, don't have that. I think the main problem Arthur, Arthur Ashe doesn't Ashe is have that. that. There is the a seats whole are not all great. There's a whole section that is just corporate people. And that's problematic. Okay. There's a whole corporate section in. in well, in, the corp. You know what? Actually, if you think of Arthur Ashe and you stop at that corporate level, that would be center. That would be center court, and that'd be pleasing. Those seats, you can charge whatever you want. That's problematic. Yeah. Um. So, and it's you know what? The grounds are beautiful. It is exactly what you want. It, I'm it, sorry. It, it hold is on, the hold mecca. Faro, Faro. What? What no do you want? No proper comments about the men. What? 
What do you what want about us to the say? Men? We talked about the men. We talked about the men. What do anyway, you, you came. You know what? You can you can listen to us on the repeat. I'm so sorry. You can listen to us on the repeat. Came late. No, we've already spent like. You came late to the party. I'm sorry. We talked sorry. a lot about men's matches. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, it's a good. You were place saying about to, it's a it's a good place to visit. I was fortunate this year. I didn't have to queue. Um, but the first time I came, I queued Lucky with the best. Bitch. I queued with the best of them, and it worked out fine. All tickets were paid for. All tickets were wonderful and fantastic. Um, and it was good. Do you, you have know, any money a, left? That's what we really want to know. Do you no. have any money to buy us chocolate? No, That's no. That's all we're no. concerned about. No, I mean, I ha- I left some aside so that I can buy your ass chocolate. But uh, <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> this, Priority. Priority. <laughs> this, this, sh- this shit took my budget. You know, because I set aside. You, you know, I set Honda? aside. <laughs> I set aside and I was like, well, you know, we'll see what happens. I just need to get myself to London and I'll talk to friends, see what happens, how it all plays out. It I was all very fortunate. Out for you. It all played out really well, <laughs> but then I looked at my budget and I was like, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I'm not crazy. I, I've been planning for this trip since October, so I was pretty smart about it. So this is not um, this is not my first time at the rodeo, people. I, I'm very careful about it. But I will encourage you all to take a trip to Wimbledon. It's a gorgeous place. It is definitely tennis mecca, I think. And have been to all but the Australian. <laughs> Tony said he can't. Tony said I have back problems. I can't camp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, Tony. I'm classes and egregious. I don't want to be doing. I doing the lines. I can't. Be. You know what? You could do, or lines. or or you could do lottos. You know what I mean? Get all your friends to oh, do lottos. No, I, I, I don't want to do chads. I don't want to do chads. No, I want to know lottos. I have my ticket and I can go in and sit where I want to and have myself some strawberries and cream. So I can't I do just, that. I just, I just want to let. I, just, I know. I just want to let you know that this podcast was brought to you by Susie. Susie, you were wonderful. Whenever Susie. Susie, Susie was great. Yay! You know, Susie, 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 Susie was a balloter. Susie, Su- Susie, Susie participates in the ballot. People think it's all rich, rich, rich. No, people participate in the ballots and they get their tickets. That's what happens, people. That's how it works here. But um, Susie, guess what? Because we, see, we were in a corporate box. ground zero. <laughs> when it's my turn and Janina's turn, you got to do bigger and better, girl. <laughs> Get us in your royal box. We gotta be to the next America. I gotta be holding America's purse. Just get it together. <laughs> no, it was wonderful. Um, I just, you know, I just nothing but love for the tournament. Well, Prodigy um, said he didn't queue any. Prodigy said he didn't queue every day. Yeah, but no, I he don't didn't. know. You can do queue. It you no, no, no. You know, there are many ways. You know, you look at the ticket options there. Uh oh. Hello. Uh, she. We lost her. <sighs> Apparently, the Wi-Fi across the pond's horrible. I know she's still in London. Bitch. But <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, cl- a club ballots help me. Okay, so if you're part of a club, it's almost like the French system. The French system do give out tickets to um, a lot of the clubs across the country because I know a lot of people. Who played tennis in a club or their parents were involved with the club and they were able to get tickets to go to the French Open. So that's cool. But um, as we've lost Andre, and I think it's about time for us to wrap up this lovely, uh, semi lovely Wimbledon. And just to put it out here, I'm not sure if we'll be back on next week because nothing much interesting is happening. But also, just to let you know that we have a special podcast coming up, we have a book review. Oh, shit. I got to read the book. On James Bloke. Yes, you got to read. Okay, I had to watch that Maria um, <laughs> shit. And you got to read. Okay, I'm telling you. I know I would catch yes. her. I'll pay you. You'll have to pay back. Um, we have a book review on James Blake, Way of Great Ways of Grace, I think yes, it's called. Yes, Ways of Grace. I have read it. In fact, I have Reels read it. has twice. read it. Andreen has read it. Janina has not yet read the book. I have read oh, it twice, shit. just so you know. Yes, so you I, read it um... twice. Show off. <laughs> well, I wanted to come correct. I know. I do want to come correct. I didn't want to, you know, come and be a mess. I know. Because this is a book review. This isn't tennis. I know. So I am looking forward to that review for certain. Look forward to hear what you ladies have to say. 
and Andrine is back. I think you know Wi-Fi in England is just fucked up. They've had enough. All so, right, so why not come? Um, we have to get ready for Game of Thrones tonight. Winter is here. Yes, apparently that's the thing. Yes, winter is here, and so we must. I read the books. I'm sorry, the shows are been messy. Back off. Just there are saying. plenty of people who are excited <laughs> about it, so that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> apparently, no. the whole world is excited about it. Yes, we are. And 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 could I just say, um, oh, you don't have to <laughs> read it before the podcast. Is it live? It won't be live, Tony. Um, actually, what I would be interested in, I'm sure some people might pick it up and read it. Um, what I'm interested in is that we give our views, and of course, the three of us so we have varying, different, varying views on the matter. I'm actually very interested in hearing what Janina has to say, so I am expecting her to read the book. She can't wing I it. I'm gonna read the book, okay? <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Um, and I'm looking forward to any sort of clap back or push back from any of you. You know, we always welcome criticism, bring like, it. particularly if it's constructive. Um, don't just bring hate for hate's sake, okay? You know, you gotta hate judiciously. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm really excited. You know, I didn't really want to read the book, but you know what? I thought it's relating to tennis and I should. And this is something that we promised to do a while ago. And this book sort of like touch on a lot of the things that we have spoken about in the past, intersectionality, race issues, um, issues of um, sports, um, disparity and favoritism, um, sort of like this um, inequality, sort of deal with a lot of things that we deal with on our podcast every week. So um, I think it I thought it was a natural choice for us to read this. And it's sort of a sort of rather recent thing as well. And since we give Maria so much time, oh my God's sake, we got to give <laughs> James some time. We'll give him so some time. Yeah. Right. And also, in the, as we end up, I just want to say, could we not have any of this bullshit goat debate, please? Could we just not have it? Let's just yeah, go. let's just enjoy the moment, guys. Yeah, let's all of us who are on here, let's just anybody bring this goat debate about who is goat, Roger, Rafa, Novak. Just say stop. We're fortunate enough to live in an era where all these players live, and let us just say, you know, we don't want. We're not interested in goats. We're interested in kids. We're interested in the young motherfuckers <laughs> stepping up, majors. Okay. Would you all That's like the book talking. review to be live? Are you going to read the book with us? If you're going to read the book with us and you want it to be live, we can make that happen, but you need to say so. Yeah, I don't want to make y'all buy something. I might not be interested. Yes, thank you, lovely drama girl. To go That's to be why they have libraries. Tired. You don't have yes. to buy it. Yes, okay. And in so, some, you know, some, some of your neighborhood, no one else will pick up that book but you. I'm just saying. FYI, we're planning on doing this the last Sunday of the month, I think it is. So if y'all want to do it live and you want to join in on the conversation, um, you know, let us know. Yeah, so, we so you have that. two weeks to read. Okay, whatever yeah. gets to me. I have been making notes. We're going to do that. Um, in fact, I read yes. the. I, I got a book that started with Andrine, then it went to Reels, <laughs> and now it is to me. And they have written all over it. Yeah, and actually. Lots and lots of notes. Oh, so, oh, yeah. So I've made my own notes, and Janina's going to make it. Andrine has made some notes. The review gonna be... will be July, what, 30th? July 30th. That's the review. Yes, I think so, yes. Okay. Um, so we'll make that if it's going to be right. live, if it's not live, it's going to come out that week. Yeah, if it's um, not live, you won't get it till probably Tuesday. Okay. But if we do it live, we can do it that Sunday. So we're looking forward to it from you. All right. All yeah, right, so thank you all for being a part of our podcast as always. We appreciate it. I appreciate the comment. Um, fan Farrow, um, I wasn't trying to be mean, but we did talk about the men. Um, just remember that we're not journalists. We're real fans. And um, we did talk extensively about the men as we did speak extensively about the women. You just probably missed it and you'll catch us on the repeat. And I hope you enjoyed us. And if you have any issues, you can always comment below. Any and everyone can comment below. We are on YouTube, we're on Podbean, and we are also on iTunes. All over the place. Yes. So thank you very much. And some of you um, appreciate some of your um, in participation last for the past two weeks. And some of you have been very kind to not at me. <laughs> yesterday my moment of sorrow i appreciate that greatly and thank you all maya massa is prodigy zenobia oh that's a really cool name i actually know someone in real life whose name is zenobia tony Yvette, morning glory 
I'm sure I make some more Nectar, who's always been a fan and always comment. You see, Nectar, you get a special star for that. Some of y'all bitches don't comment. I'm just saying. Y'all just don't comment. And I appreciate Nectar comment all the time. And if I've missed anyone, forgotten anyone, I'm really sorry. Andrina is sorry she can't be there. She probably fell asleep because it's like... Her Wi-Fi died. Fell out. Okay. It's 11 yeah. o'clock in London and she needs to sleep because she has to travel back to California. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow. So thank you all for listening. And if I missed anyone, thank you all so much. And good night. Bye-bye. Janina, enjoy Game of Thrones. You're going to tell me all about it tomorrow. Bright and early. All right and early. <laughs> thank you so much. Good night. Good night.